Excellent. Set the mood. Oh, the professionalism is sky high. <laughs> Just like the tension uh, on Princes of the Apocalypse on brought to you by Tabletop Tables. TM. Sexual tension. <laughs> PTY LTD. <laughs> uh, last uh, game, there's entire majors uh, performed a giant ritual praise bang. Praise bang! Praise bang! Praise bacon. To pretend to cleanse the mind. I'm not realising that the, <laughs> <laughs> the mine actually had a bit of a problem and um, they uh, got attacked by methods. I was cleansing the mine. I was cleansing it to give it to my god. Yeah, cleansing it. But uh, the Calamari road friend everyone. decided to um, tank with his face. Uh, everyone else decided to hide on clifftops, occasionally doing a can drip. Yeah. Sometimes putting the guys to sleep so they're trying to run away. <laughs> yeah. uh, but eventually... Um, a cleric who uh, they'd seen kind of earlier, who was very upset at this dedication to a false god, um, came out with a couple of supporters. Yeah. Hi, mom. And um, <laughs> a fight ensued, uh, which at the end of which uh, this priest in his armour, covered in uh, strange rock parts instead of some in the metal, ran away, and he was put to sleep by the millions of people who spent on sleep, sleep spells. Not, 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 that bitter, not that I'm bitter. No, it was a the, fusion dance. The old man who fell asleep next to him was murdered. I assume yes. some kind of object lesson. I don't know. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the, the normal <laughs> dude uh, was <laughs> so, so, normal dude. So, so, so slowly, so slowly slid onto my dagger. But yeah. it was alright because he told him to shh. Yeah, yeah. Just like cover his mouth and shit. He covered his mouth, he woke up, and he pressed the permanent yeah. snooze button. Like, like the John Wick style, you know, get their attention, yeah. then stab them slowly and we'll like yeah. watch the light fade from their eyes. Yeah, so I snooze, it was just dismissed. Yeah. <laughs> get the leave existence. So now they have they tied up this priest, and yeah, they also way. tied up Grund, the half orc thug. Uh, well, half orc, he was helping him. And, um,. Muffets were dismissed. A couple of guards went sleepy time. Harbuck, the constable, was also hanging around. Uh, but first, we'll have everyone introduce themselves and their characters, starting with Nick. Hi, I have a name. <gasps> I am now been named <laughs> Emesos within the game. Otherwise, the real person is called Nick. He's just a figment of his own imagination. We missed it. Um, I'm playing a druid that's. A half elf that's been outcast from his village and adopted by a bunch of miscreants. Hey, come on now. And then oh, and adopted you. by a bunch of bastards. <laughs> <laughs> that's more like it. Fucking gremlins. <laughs> and I'm Cody. You may also know me as DM Cody from tomorrow's game. And tonight I am playing Emerus the Magnificent, street magician and <clears throat> protector of these miscreants. You gave me the word, thank you. You're welcome. Hang on. If people know you from tomorrow night, that means they're time travellers? I hope so. If so, <laughs> come forward, like, let's just get this out. Yeah, you should let the world get this way. <laughs> <laughs> what have you done? They're too busy watching live streams. 
Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm playing Mobath, the better brother. Just on the clear. Yes, the other one's dead, so yeah, yeah. I guess you're the best. The other one's kind of slow. Oh god, I can't kill you all in your sleep. But just your style. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're always asleep when I am for some reason. Well, I'm playing the human necromancer. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ishtar. I am playing Tree Green, the Goliath Cleric. Bracing! Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm playing Cal and I still don't have a set voice and I just woke up from a three hour nap. I'm gonna make some poor decisions. It should be Cockney. <laughs> Definitely Cockney, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, well, you never go wrong with like I said, it never goes well. It always turns out really camp. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> That's what we're I can't allow it. I can, and encourage it. I need more practice. I can't do tough Cockney. Apparently, I can only do like flamingly gay Cockney. But how are you going to practice if you don't do it regularly? Yeah, but then next week you can start off with like, hi, I'm Anthony and I play with myself. Why do you think I do the camp Cockney so well? Because I do practice it regularly. So now you have to practice a sand Cockney. Anyway. Meanwhile, in the Lord of Faroon. Sorry, Lord of Abeltoril. What are you guys up to? I'm tying up a stony man, a stony boy in Silk Road. And then sitting next to his unconscious body, yep. waiting for everybody. Behind his armour, he appears to be a middle-aged man, hard face, sort of dark lines under his eyes, but you can't particularly see too well. Well, I was just like, we'll take the helmet off. Yep. Ready for me to kick him in the head to wake him up. Um, yeah, he has sort of sandy coloured hair, some grey pimples. Don't recognise him? Doesn't seem like anybody I've seen in the village? No. Well... I'm making my way down to the middle where the orc boy is tied up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go wake up the other guards because they are currently asleep. It's a bit of a hike, but yep. That's okay, I don't mind. They're up on the outside of the quarry um, being surprisingly efficient with their crossbows until Mm -hmm. they fell asleep. Put them them to sleep. I follow my brother down. Yeah, I'll follow our leader. The smarter of the two. So who's that? I was going to wait for them to argue it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I can't just be on my intelligence score. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're, they're two. Uh, everyone's fast asleep. You will wake the guards up. No problem? Yeah, just like... A gentle kick. A gentle... Kick. gentle. <laughs> <Next> and a gentle... <laughs> <laughs> Phew, free crossbows. No. Oh. <laughs> what happens? I believe some of the protections went a little bit haywire and you fell asleep. Fortunately, fortunately the false, the false believers have been currently dealt with. Some of them are currently asleep down in the bottom. It would be wise to join the constable down inside the quarry. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, thanks. Um, I'm basically going to go do the same for the other ones. Yeah, pick up the stuff and head down. Then I plod along after them. I'm going to give the orca a sharp kick in the ribs when I get there to wake him up. Making sure he's tied first. Very well. I probably didn't. Uh, At the end of the last game, he was tied. Okay, cool. But I didn't check. (laughs) (laughs) Does he cough (laughs) butter? Uh, (laughs) Let me just double check how many hit points he has left. Yes! (laughs) Yes! <laughs> he was taking the arrow into the back repeatedly, if I remember correctly. Uh, <laughs> You're like, I can't watch this, so we roll him onto his back. <laughs> um, so yeah, he... Uh, <clears throat> um, oh, that's not right. Mm, hello again. So good to see you. Who are you? How could you forget me? Emerus the Magnificent. I met you on the street. You told us there were no ghosts here, remember? No. Wow. <laughs> this one's bright. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but some good I mates there. I am. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's already died. He's all news. Yeah, he's oh. body. <laughs> yes, he does look rather pathetic. <laughs> Way to kill a man's confidence while he's down. Oh yeah, that's the entire point of this. <laughs> <coughs> Taking notes. Oh yes, we captured your leader. Everyone else is dead. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. This is very, uh... Okay, we're okay. Yes. This is not fun. Would you like a biscuit? 
<laughs> yeah, sure. I, I, I give it a salt. Give him a biscuit. And give him a biscuit. <laughs> and it's poisoned. <laughs> you know, to this point, that it, his ropes have been mm. partially broken even in a short time. Mm. Would you like a biscuit, man? <laughs> now remember that I gave you that biscuit. Now we're friends. Friends don't <laughs> hurt friends. Sure. Amethyst the Maleficent. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> She's gonna leave him. <laughs> In the middle of a quarry, yeah. eating a biscuit <laughs> with his ropes breaking. The butcher boys will deal with him. <laughs> I, I rolled a 17 on the dice for the strength check. <laughs> <laughs> he's not a slight chap. <laughs> like, I, from this short thing. conversation, I'm assuming he's gonna break them and forget that they're broken, just sit there eating his cookie, thinking he's still tied up. Becky! <laughs> just drop another one. <laughs> just a crumb trail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just crumb trail back into it and then we just go clock. Make him like, the moment he gets up, he's like, oh, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, this ain't one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we go find the constable. Hi, I'm right next to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that was easy. Yeah. I followed you down. Oh, I didn't see you there. Oh, yeah. Well, well your problems, none of the problems dealt with now. Yes. Did, who's, who are they? I mean, I know, I know Grund. Mm, I thought you'd know it's your village. No. Huh. Rivals, perhaps? To who? To you, I suppose, if they're coming in here trying to disrupt your production. Well, Grund is part of our town. He's a bit simple, and as I think you've seen, a, a bit easily led, but... Yes. I don't know who this guy is. I guess where he we came can... from. We can always ask him. Callum, can you drag him over here? I'm like in the cave still. <laughs> Callum, <laughs> can you drag him over here? <clears throat> Not budging, no just a head here is out. <laughs> no one seems to have noticed the dead old man. This is fine. Nice machine there, whatever's in there is asleep. True dream. <laughs> can you uh, come help me lift the stone, you boy? Oh. Sure thing. I plot inside. One, one second, and I'll just like lay the boot into his face twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's two death saves failed. <laughs> he was just asleep, so he should just wake up. <laughs> On the first one. What's your strength? Down. Minus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, he's fine. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> so, ooh, another one, please. <laughs> <laughs> Rolls over. You're adding hit points to him every time. Yeah, <laughs> <it's> like, <laughs> I'll pull out the dagger and take him away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so. We've got questions for you. Drew, 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 grab him. <laughs> just like grab a leg. And We've got questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> you fuck. I would not put up with these indignities. I'll hit him with his own helmet. <laughs> I just like I, I just like slapped his leg over my shoulder and I'm just walking back out with him. Uh, that's date night. <laughs> I'll grow up and bury you in the angry earth. You heathens. Right, I've got some rope. You, uh, give me five minutes, and what I'll do is I'll tie, like, <laughs> tie, like, a rope around a decent rock and see if I can, like, lob it up into the quarry. I don't want to, like, hang him up. <laughs> well, I mean, it's an open cut quarry. Yeah, so, yeah. so it's not really on. trees above. Any... Oh, like, there probably would be, like, like some yeah. crane. Yeah, I was thinking. For like, would there be a crane? Yeah, they didn't explicitly mention one, but it makes sense. If, that if, there, is like, if there is like, well, a, like a, a whole big winch cut. thing, then I'll just tie him to like that. Yeah. Hang him upside down. Why did the red light stand there? <laughs> just tie him up. <laughs> yeah, actually, fuck it. Yeah, that works. By the leg. <laughs> yeah. Just one leg. So the other one's like flop. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can do the splits. Impressive. <laughs> can now. <laughs> Make a wish. <laughs> um, uh, so, yeah, he's look for a club. cursing you. Pinata! Uh, what languages can you two speak? I'm all of them. Like no, I can read all of them. Um, I can speak. It was Elvish, uh, Orcish, and Primordial. He's cursing in primordial. <laughs> Specifically a tarot version of it. Oh, that's most uncouth. Unnecessary, sir. Ha. 
more than necessary. I go up and kick him for his insults. <clears throat> that's the In the face, because that's what, what <laughs> yeah, well, it looks like. Kick him hard enough and candy will fall out. <laughs> Constable, do you recognise this one? I'll shake him. <laughs> you know, See if any have, money falls out. You just have to like, slap him in my hand. <laughs> no, just uh, by the arm. No, no, no. I, I have no idea. Right, who are you? Answers now, or we're taking various appendages and your genitals. That is if you can appendage. answer, I'll put you the right way up, and the you blood know. will stop rushing to your head. That will slowly make you pass out. Ah. <sighs> You need to specify genitals, because if, uh, if you don't, sometimes they just think fingers, and they're like, oh, that's uncalled for. Oh, it's all a little uncalled for. Yeah. So please just work with us. Uh, someone who's taken point make an intimidation check. I mean, I'm probably not trying to intimidate <laughs> at this point. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say secondary to this one, and I'll... I'll Throw, throw a couple of stabs and... You know, well, I guess I'll do it, because I'm holding him upside down. Some brutality things. I guess. I mean, you probably are the most intimidating I one have here. a plus one to intimidation, and I'm holding him upside down. Hey, that's better than me. That's... No, that's <laughs> not a roll. Oh. That was cocked as all hell. So we have a 12. He looks... Even upside down and, and bleeding made of fairly solid stuff. Okay. You just sort of go silent. Jing, jingle, 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 jingle. <laughs> so you sort of just start stare off with a you know, fine mask there. <clears throat> I'm going to keep jingling him. Like a bell. <laughs> oh, right. And um, Rush, you may want to look away. <sighs> I'm yes, I think I do. Thank you. <laughs> I turn around, fold my arms, and look squarely away from what's about to happen. I we don't need to go into detail. <laughs> no intimidation if you want. Can you? Ass- can, if I go into detail, can I have advantage? Nope. Fuck. <laughs> you might get disadvantaged. Can I give awesome. you advantage yeah. if I've got it as a? You may want to yes. ask me to stop jingling him while I do. Enhanced oh. derogation bores me. <clears throat> um, <laughs> yeah. I'll give you uh, ten. <laughs> you want to roll advantage on that, and I'll I'll help. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sh- yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm sure you've got a fucked up mind. <laughs> <laughs> worse. Way worse. Why are you putting beetles in? <laughs> get, uh, get me some rats in a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> He's weathering it all really well. Like, you think he must have been through some shit um, to be able to. He's, He's not even particularly flinching. Yeah, exactly. Get the fluffy cushion! No! And the soft chair! Well, I've got an idea. This uh, this ritual was interrupted, right? He didn't want that to happen. Perhaps we just finish it off and make him watch. Maybe that would get his jollies off. Oh, I could sacrifice him to my lord. Oh, Is this that's, all really necessary? That's doubly <laughs> insulting to him. I love it. He's going, you, you like the sound of that? You like the sound of being sacrificed in, in the name of another god? I have an idea before we do this. Pull out my dagger. I cut the top of his pants loop, so if he tries to run away, he's got to hold his pants up. <laughs> <laughs> no casting spells with any hands. That's what Matt finally makes him give up. <laughs> but you know what? Pants, no, fine. So like, oh, there goes my last escape route. I'm done. It, it happens, and um, well, he's not playing that. He's got like scale mail on. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's sorry, picking some scales. <laughs> well, like you can still cut the joint points for the scale, though. So no, because still... it'll be so many tying points to oh, keep there's, on. There's only three. We've got three, but tying. Three, ding, ding, and then the back. Yeah. Okay. All right, you've all convinced me. <laughs> um, you cut him free of his uh, armored pants, <laughs> and he just falls onto the ground. <laughs> I thought she was holding him up by his feet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, he falls down to the ground, and I just. He's free, him. so I kick him. <laughs> <laughs> After he's kicked him, then I'll re-pick him back up just by the skin this time. <laughs> Four skin? <or laughs> five skin. Shin skin. He seems to be just mentally Actually, elsewhere. What are, what are we doing? I don't need this. And I'm just going to stab him in the throat. And I'm like, we've got grunt. I don't need this piece of shit. I'm just going to, yeah. Like, casually just... I'm like, stab him in the throat a bunch of times. I'm him stab him. You do it here... So that you don't actually get an artery and he'll stay alive. Oh no, it's right. super messy. I'm just. <laughs> okay. no, I very quickly turn around. <laughs> just keep going. Well, he's dead. <laughs> just. 
wow, the blood just... from this guy just keeps pouring out. <laughs> and, I, and I turn to Grond while I'm doing this and be like, you can give us answers, right, about what we need? <laughs> Yeah, they, they told me uh, everything. All right, fantastic. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> just gonna let go now, just like. So who was he then? I don't. Mm. All right, Frey, Bane, and Blood. <laughs> now, what, did he, what did he want here? Uh, oh, he was in charge of the stones. Oh, what stones? Where? Um, do I remember which one were the glowing stones that were left? Like, were they still clearly it was, left it was, about? It was the body markers. More the, uh, oh, yeah. They're all sort of exploded in the middle. Oh, okay, time. cool. Um, um, well, the, they, they were made by the Delvers. They tell oh. us things. Like, this ritual was happening. Well, why don't you show us the way there? Here you go. <laughs> and there's more of where they came from too, if you help us. Also, we're very good friends with the uh, with the baker, and he has makes delicious sweet, sweet rolls. I was told he's mean. My well, useful face stares at you. Goes bastard. Never gives no. me any bickies. <laughs> no, the baker is a very nice man. No, I said he wasn't. Who? Who was oh well, they? that's a problem for another time. Let's go find these stones, shall we? Huh? <laughs> Who was they, Grunt? Who said he was a bad man? Him and um, his mother's name. <laughs> Are they all and the other hymns? <laughs> uh, please don't say the dead old man was important. <laughs> Bar Augustus. So everybody that's dead said that he was a bad man. Why would they lie hmm. to you, Grunt? I'm not still alive. Wait. Take us to the live ones. <laughs> uh, Augustus, <laughs> that's one of the town elders, if I'm correct. Our Augustus, yes, he's a believer. Why yes. would they lie to you, Grant? They have yes. Your memory. But they Far did. They said the baker was a mean man. But he is. But he's not. So why would they lie to you? For years, he, 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 he took on my pickles once. That is a terrible offence to Nate Dark. How dare you? Well, I will have words with him on your behalf. <laughs> is this really what we're talking about right yeah, now? Yes, it's, it's, it's one. <laughs> um, Are you going to stab him in the throat now too? Yeah. Just, <laughs> uh, uh, the constable's there with us, right? Why would you stand at the butcher's point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the yeah, yeah, the constable's there. He's just like, this is where you kill the prisoner. <laughs> He's very concerned about our methods. So am I. <laughs> hey, it's Tony Boy that can cast magic. I ain't letting him fuck around. <laughs> Simpleton that likes cookies. We're all quite on. We all empathise with that. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking. Can relate. Nobody, nobody Sim- wants to kill Lenny. <laughs> simple, Simpleton who likes cookies and accidentally joined a cult. Like, yeah. There's nothing wrong. wrong. He's a good guy. So what are you guys getting him to do? Because you guys have been I'm stones. telling him to show us where the stones are. But then yeah. you, okay, um, I will. Uh, I've got the cookies. <laughs> I make the demand. <laughs> you you lead him like the whole, like the carrot and the stick. <laughs> I have the cookies. I make head with string. <laughs> there's more cookies <laughs> where there's the stones. I do. Oh, I do want to uh, ask the constable <laughs> about Bar Augustus. Yes. Um, Bar Augustus. He is. Uh, yeah, he's one of uh, the town elders. Uh, he seems to be involved in this. Yeah, um... Yes. Uh, Do you, like, report to him? Or is it a... Well, the elders generally organise things like my pay, but I don't... I'm not beholden to them. Do you I'm beholden th- to low law. Do you think you could keep quiet about what we found here for a, uh, a couple of... Well, until we get back, just in case... Because oh, we don't want to get you involved in... If you're following Grunt into there, I am following. Are you sure? We... If there's... Priests and... Monsters and the like under my town, then it's my duty to know. I'm just saying we can go deal with that for you if you want. And if, if you want to stay up here and... I guess... Make sure we, uh... Aren't followed in. Persuasion check if you want. I think it would be for the best if he came. Then he can see with his own eyes 
the sins that their false gods are bringing. Mm, I guess that's true. Just uh, I guess make sure your boys are kept safe. Yeah. Ah, uh, no, I don't think they need to follow us. That would relieve me. <laughs> you notice as he's saying, "Follow you," and he's looking at your bloody dagger. So, no, I, I, yeah, we'll follow you. <laughs> 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 I'm good. Just like a red patch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you brought your red dagger. <laughs> yeah. Um. So eventually, uh, Grum starts heading in um, this passageway. Um. Before we head in, did the stolen boy have anything on his corpse? No. All right. I mean, well, he had some pants in that, but they're all ruined uh, now. Uh, any information <laughs> items, not his No, but, uh, oh, you, you do look where his highway symbol would be, like just around his neck. I mean, oh. you, you're, you're knowledgeable enough that you can go. There's a cleric and there's something around his neck. Um, oh, that, 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 that'd be stone? pretty handy, actually, if we. Hmm? Is it just a stone? What's a stone? But on it is a <laughs> symbol that looks like. I want to steal this, and I want to desecrate it later. Mm. Yes, like that. Ooh, stone. Ooh, wait. It looks One like a third of the way to the Harry Potter. The TP with a person <laughs> in the middle. I'm and going to his necklace. <laughs> yep. I want to desecrate the shit out of it later. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I also keep his helmet. Yep. To use as. Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like it's like, made out of um, steel, but um, there are like almost embellishments of moulded stone around it. Interesting, interesting. That is that is funky. That that sounds like it does a D four damage. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on. <laughs> Put it on. So eventually, uh, yeah, you start heading down this path. Um, you travel surprising distance. Um, is there a marching order? Who has light? Who needs light? I can cast light. I will. Fuck my balls! I land. Got an exploded. Uh, <laughs> kick, kick somebody and like, kick the corpse or something. I am going to cast some light so that we have some light going down here. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's better. Um, I mean, you. you get about 10 meters into the cave and there's a, a dead old man who's bled out through the throat. Oh dear, <laughs> what happened here? Put up a fight. Hubble cleans down and goes, Oh, that's Baragastus. <laughs> 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 I suppose that solves that problem or creates more pain. What does that do exactly? Well, well, him. well God, if only I knew. <laughs> no, obviously he was part of officer. this. So what happens when they Did don't see Did I have time? <laughs> you never tied him up, you just don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he was already sleeping. Oh, he was asleep, <laughs> alright. Okay, that's good, that's good. As long as I didn't tie him up, then stab him and then go hard. But he's wearing like, um,. Yeah, he's wearing like a, a similar sort of a like dark earthen robe, and uh, he has a, a knife in his belt. I'll check. Oh, fucking, I'll nab that. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty crappy, but it's like okay. a ritual knife. Yeah. I'll. Uh, does he have have any like notes on him? Any papers? Or uh, he has a diary with all the plot clues. No, <laughs> he doesn't have anything like that. Uh, true dream. I've heard of uh, people of your cloth being able to converse with such people after they've passed. I don't suppose you know how to do that. Speak with the dead. No. <laughs> Get a few levels. <laughs> Not really my area without training. Mm. I wonder if you might know someone. Might be worth sending word. Possibly. I could send word back to the church for reinforcements if needed. Mm. Well, hopefully we <laughs> Bring that the monster manual. <laughs> um, what church are you with exactly? <laughs> The Church of Our Lord and Saviour, His he Holiness. Perfect time for Mulder to be like, I can speak to dead, pick up his corpse. <laughs> Do not have to go. Don't have a trap, sir. <laughs> what in the box? <laughs> well, perhaps it's worthwhile. If he was one of the elders here and he's involved, have a lot of information that's useful to us. It's a shame he's dead. Um, Imadar, uh, uh, he's, uh, he's a fairly potent priest, a priest of Lef- uh, Lefanda, the, the Dawn Martyr. Uh, he's here, is he? Uh, yeah, he's at the old Saint Shrine. Oh, perhaps we should ask Surprised him. Surprised you didn't call upon him for help, yeah. 
We didn't know of his existence, so... We, we but you would have walked past the shrine multiple times. We sure were also told her with the, like, that we could I get wasn't paying attention, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> I did ask if there was a patron god of this town back the other day, yeah. but was told because there was no dedicated patron saint, it would be better to use my own god to make sure the blessing was as powerful as possible. Oh yes, we do then have a patron uh, uh, god, but we shrine. have a all face shrine. At the moment, the itinerant priests are... Um, Imada Rilvandula. <laughs> yeah, oh no, sorry, he's a Tempest. And um, uh, Lemura, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Go on. She's a devotee of Soon. What was Lemura's last name again? I, I, I can't remember. They're coming from Water Deep. They only came in. A, That's all right. Go get her and I'll ask her about herself. Well, I mean, it's completely well, reasonable no reason for a human to be get, like, I can't fucking speak that old, which kind of know. <laughs> Would Perhaps you... it would be wise for me to go and speak with them later. Perhaps, um... After the dawn. You know, I already feel it, yeah. <laughs> Just watch the recording back later. Like a sieve. So you guys start pushing it. Uh, after a couple of hundred metres uh, heading towards... Because uh, you, you have a fairly decent sense of dungeons and underground areas. Um, you're sort of headed towards the middle of town. And uh, crossing deep underground, under the centre of it. Um, eventually, uh, you see off your light, you reach the end of a, um, a passageway. And um, the back of the... It looks like the back of the door. It's barred. Um, stonework. Hinges on this side. I will wait for Grunt to do his thing. Any, uh, any locks? Yeah, make him open it. Yeah, that went, worked so well last An time. investigation check? Uh, 19. No, but uh, this is the back of a secret door, so the lock is... The, 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 the fact that, Yeah, you don't know it's there, so... Yeah. <clears throat> you don't see any traps or anything like that. Alrighty. Well, I guess I'll open it. So you open it mm. and slide it open. Uh, the room you enter into has a very large room. It's solid 60 feet by 60 feet, perhaps even further. 20 feet high um, probably the most strange thing you see is there's a series of large standing stones some of them are sort of stonehenge like with the with that two with one on top some of them are individually standing seems to be a natural pattern here um, although a lot of them and once again it's a dungeon delver you'll sort of notice they tend to come down to points and a lot of them seem to like look like they're really not shouldn't be balanced up as yep. they are around the edge are six sort of uh, stone almost altars, and on them are skeletons. Look like they've been placed in positions of reverence. How there's there's a um, iron door on the other side of the chamber. Okay, to take a look. Uh, uh, Fine. What are they? I'll, uh, I'll do a quick round first. Uh, they're the stones. Um, the bodies? Oh, they're the delvers. Do they do anything? They, they protect us. Do they move? No, they move the stones. But they are corpses. Hmm. Grant, would you bring me one of the stones? No. Magic beyond no, it's not not for me to know of you. I will give you two cookies. No. <laughs> no. Don't we'll give you cookies for life. No. No. I won't give you cookies if you don't do it. How big are they? What? I will give you no cookies unless you the, do it. Like, um... Like, it, it's all a ten feet... Up each one. So none of them are like really in like. Uh, so so I can like walk up and place yeah. a hand on them. Hand for a penny, hand for a pound. I muttered to myself as I strolled it and put my <laughs> hand on one. Is there? Any, it feels like stone. Is there any etchings or anything on it? Uh, perception check. Uh, uh sixteen. Thank you. Uh, no, there doesn't seem to be any sort of um, etchings on runes or anything like that. You do see lines across the ground where these look, does look like these things have slid. Mm-hmm. Do they like... Does it make like a pattern in any way? Intelligence check? Uh, I knew that was going to run out of You can have a counter if you... Uh, my, yeah, fucking no. ten. <laughs> <laughs> There's no discernible pattern. Grand. 
How would a corpse be able to move stone? They're the Delvers. They... Yes, but how? They are already dead. Unless they are undead and can still move. In which case, that is heresy. No. Why well, the Delvers are heresy? I think they might be triggers to move the stones. I'm going to sit down and start ritually casting the tech magic. Sure. I'm going to go up and have a look at one of the corpses. Immediately Grung starts, but he doesn't actually interfere. Yeah. Um, looks like a long dead corpse. Do you want to I'll make a medicine check? <laughs> it's still alive. <laughs> it's it's it, not dead at all. It's got a pulse. <laughs> I can feel it ain't worth the bone. It looks like um, this body died of like a crushed in skull. There's also some chips and broken sections yep. across the shoulder. And uh, as you look around to others, you see uh, oh, similar wounds and injuries. I'm going to go up to one of the bodies and start speaking in primordial <laughs> and try basic things like move and forward and back. Password. Password. <laughs> password one. <laughs> Capital P, password one, <laughs> exclamation point. Okay. I was going to say, am I going to be on primordial on the other side going... Do what he said. Do what he said. <laughs> Do what he said. That. that, that. <laughs> That's going to be the most useful as primordial. So you're just to trying all these things. Nothing, 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 nothing. Your detect magic eventually works. Yeah. Um, the corpses have no magic on them. If that's if you look at them. The stones uh, do not have any magic on them. Um, <clears throat> the floor does. There's lava. Trans, uh, sort of a thin shimmer of transmutation magic across it. Is it? So, 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 no, no, sorry, a bit of transmutation, there's a bit of abjuration. Similar to the tracks, or is it just all over the floor? It's across the whole floor. Right. Uh, and it seems to even go. You can see like a foot into stone. Uh, I think. As in, like. A foot of stone locks it, so. So you, you can see I'll that the forward. magical field will continue going through even the walls. Well. It appears we're all starting on magic. Does it stop at their door? Uh, well, the door is made out of um, like lead or like steel. So it, yeah, but it's open now. Oh, the one behind you. Outside. No, the secret door we came in. Yeah. yeah, the secret door you came in. Um, looks like it continues for a while. It doesn't continue all the way up the path, but hmm. thoughts. Uh, I can check. I'll go check out the uh, the iron door on the other side. I assist with that. Yeah. I'm discussing with my brother, and he Is fails to help me. Very unhelpful. <laughs> yeah. But it's still 18. Um, okay. Um, this appears to be uh, like a... You'd probably say... Actually, roll a history check on top of that. With a advantage. Pretty sure I have a history check. Yeah. 24. This is a magical system, and the more you think about it, um, uh, you, you come to slowly realise that um, a number of there used to be some like vast dwarven kingdoms in this area. This is almost like a transportation magic. Um, the stones, once you activate the floor, you can move heavy things such as stones or metals and the like across it quite easily. You cover like a huge area with the old and ancient magics. This, uh, it's like off the arcane check. You realise this is. Thousands of years old. Do I recognize how to activate it? It's gonna break it. <laughs> uh, 24 history. Um, it's normally, it's something uh, even someone who's in magical can do. Depends on the exact trigger. But there's only a few things to try. And so you should start trying talking in Dwarvish. I think it's the bodies. So I push the body off the thing. chair, sit down on it. <laughs> So the body falls over and hits the floor. Um, and then skeletons come out the walls and we die. <laughs> and it hits the floor and um, you feel there's like a slight shimmer on the ground and the body just sort of slides a bit across the floor. <laughs> That's strange. That's a magical body on that. I put up the skeleton and put it in a sack. Okay. Are you kidding? Who else has got a whole quarter star? Uh, I've just found a skull hockey you, bark. Like, <laughs> doing that, you aggravate Grund. As soon as you pick up and start taking the body, he just runs at you. Oh boy, here we go. Oh shit. And oh, right. misses. 
What are you doing? No, don't hurt the Dovers. <laughs> don't I'm not hurting. I need to take him to a back. So he's into a second military's place. Constable's a bad Big guy. Big words! <laughs> I'm, I would like to jump in on the initiative order so I can I'm going to shield. I'm going to jump in on the Just initiative attack. order. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you're doing attacking, then what are you doing? I am attacking with my Warhammer for uh, 17. That'll hit. Great. I'm just I'm basically sure. clocking him in the back of the head to make him stop talking. Yeah, he, he stops talking. Great. Down he goes. <laughs> As he, slides, magical body. as he slides across the floor, eventually bouncing pinball style. <laughs> I walk over to one of the stones and push. Hmm. I think we need to put these in the right place, wherever that is. Yes. But first, bunker. <laughs> <laughs> is there any other <laughs> power slide? <laughs> the markings on the ground, do they tend to like sit at certain points? Like when like they're shifted around, do they a lot of them kind of like intersect? Make so a perception it's... check. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's that's not too bad. Um, uh, seventeen. Are you trained in that car? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, it be... seems to be uh, a plus four in it. it seems <laughs> really <laughs> random. Uh, did you explain what you think the stones are? Like this, this. Not, like, not just simpletons. Okay. <laughs> You looking around, you don't seem to think there's a pattern. It's probably more just people did stuff with them. But as you're looking around, you do see that um, there is actually a chest behind one of the, the stone altars on the in the alcove. So in the process of looking, I'm like, <laughs> it must have slid out slightly. As the I have a question. Are we walking on the floor? Yeah. I would like to just attempt to slide along. I was just thinking cool. that. Uh, roll a dex risky business check. Sweet. Uh, Acrobatics if you've got it. I believe I have a plus 10 risky business. <laughs> oh, that's my. That's a minus 10. 20. Yeah, you just. Oh, yeah. That was a 10 on the dice. That's the plus 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you see this chest. Uh, I will check for traps. Mm-hmm. Not 20. <laughs> um, it does look like there's a small little uh, runic engraving on it. Uh, anything around, so it was it in like a little alcove and yes. it just slid, slid out? Is there like anything in and around it that I can see if it's like on a pressure trigger or anything like that? Well, it's already slid. Yeah. So, no, there's nothing. Alright, cool. Um. It's just like on the catch, so where there would be a lock, it's just instead this little thing. Uh, I guess I will dagger, scratch out the room, I guess that's the only thing I can think of. I kind of check. Eight fucking twenty-two. Yeah. So you're like, hmm. There's a slightly smaller, like, sort of protection on you. You just like go that line, that line, that line. Done. Sort of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'll open it. Locked. Unlocked. Uh, Unlocked. You open it up. Um, there is a fuck gold, fifty gold pieces. Nothing special. There's all, but there is uh, two um, trade bars next to it. Uh, also, like ingots kind of thing. Yeah, they're about a foot long. <laughs> Sorry, if I can't describe it. Yeah. Um, they're sort of basically elongated diamond shapes. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. About a foot long. Uh, there's two of them made out of iron. Um, they're mirror bar trade bars. All right. I'll uh, take the sack of gold and like. Ooh, fucking no, I'll just take it. How much was it? It was 50? 50, yeah. 50, alright. Mm, I don't have a razor. Alright. I'm just start looking and try and work out where these standing stones are meant to go. Uh, I kind of check. I'll take the, uh, the train bars out and I'll be like, anyone know how much these are worth? You'd know it's probably about five gold pieces each. Yeah. That, which I feel is really pathetic. Picks one up. <laughs> they are made them. Tastes like chicken. Like nine. Tastes pale. No, I hate them. <laughs> I'll start pushing them randomly, getting absolutely nowhere. I'll assist you. Thank you. How many stones? But I'm not really pushing. I'm just sliding them on my There's hand. Six, I think. <laughs> There's That's six better. stones, wasn't there? Uh, well, six sort of sets of stones. Yeah. Twenty-four okay. for Arcana with my brother. 
looking at them now. No, there is no pattern to these stones. Nothing will happen if you move them to the right spot. You're just wasting time. Cool, so I can shut them all I feel like we're trying to throw them all over the your trail here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's investigate this for another three hours. <laughs> <laughs> so, Rhett, what you're telling me is I can get out good old faithful here and just start whacking them all and breaking them into dust for their heresy, right? I mean, in the sense that they're like literally standing stones. Um, oh, I thought this was the bodies. Oh, no, no, there's nothing to do. The bodies are just old skeletons. Like, cool. really old skeletons. Cool, I'm going to turn them to dust. Mm -hmm. uh, and after I'm done with that for their heresy, then I'm going to try whacking the stones just for fun. The term seems like giving us really defunct old people. They're not very good at their job. You got a bad rogue, a heretic, cleric. I mean, hey, I feel glad that I just pushed the body onto the ground and it's sitting on the chair. The necromancer that hasn't raised a single corpse yet. Pray for him! Well, so you just you pinball them around a bit. But someone does say about the two old men who are level <laughs> one casters. Anyway. I'm sorry, we are not under scrutiny right now. Yeah. Thank you very much. We are an amazing street performer and a world class alchemist. We're not just number one sorcerers. <laughs> haven't seen proof of either one of these <laughs> So eventually you've desecrated, moved, looted everything in this room. My point to come here was desecration, <laughs> thank you. I have achieved my goals. I was here for loot. Um, so, what are we doing here? Is there another door to this room? Desecrating their holy no. site. I go open another door. Yep. You don't open the other door. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, moving forward to the actual plot. <laughs> we're looking for we're looking for clues. Tell you moving about. backwards on the plot. <laughs> I didn't realise there was another door, and that's why I was playing with the stones. <laughs> we're looking for clues in this uh, about who in this town is uh, killing people in the mines. I, I think that was the old man dead up the front. Yeah. Um, speaking that speak up, old man, there's a chair here and a book and a candle. I'm like a little holder and like a, a chamber pot, but um, no person here. I got the book. Yep. What is it? Uh, it's a, a saucy story. <laughs> oh my. When you're finished, brother, if you don't mind. <laughs> we talking like tomato or gravy? Oh, it's gravy. <laughs> You'll be, uh, be read by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Depends. If it's in Dwarvish, I'm screwed. <laughs> I can teach you Dwarvish. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm half of well, what would I want to learn dwarvish? Um, <laughs> so you can move on. Uh, so this is a short corridor. Uh, there's another iron door. You go through that. And you go into a chamber. Uh, it's about 40 feet by 40 feet. Uh, about 20 feet up. Uh, in the middle of it, uh, well, firstly, there's the door you come in. There's a door on the other side of the room and a door to your right. Uh, all these iron doors with these big sort of metal knockers. Um, then in the middle of the room, your face in the back of it, is a, a large statue of a dwarf. Um, sort of, well, the squat statue, sta um, statue? Sta statue of the dwarf and the statue is still as tall as uh, um, True Dream. Standing there with a great axe, well, an axe in one hand and a shield in the other. At some point, it had clearly been broken. And while it's being put back together, there's like a series of scaffolding around it to hold all the bits in place. And it's facing away from you. He's a bit tall for a dwarf. You see I say looking him right in the eye. That, um, sort of in a circle around the base of the dwarf, there's like a, a series of offerings, for lack of a better word. Um, looks like coins, lots of coins, a couple of other things scattered around through it. I wonder how many have been leaving offerings. I wonder how many more there are. Is there any other markings in the room? That's why we're here to see if they're on. Uh, there. If you walk around and look, um, there's a, a plaque under the, the... When you go around to the front of the Dwarven statue, there's a, a plaque there. Is it in the Dwarvish? Uh, yes. Would you like me Conveniently to read that it's in for common. you? Or would you like me to read it for you? Perhaps you should. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure the crack is where I get it again. Uh, it says, My Patrick's language is literally written in Dwarvish script, you heathen. Well, what it says is... <laughs> it's actually in common. I've read that wrong. Um, <laughs> oh. It says, <laughs> Petrified that. Iron Star, question mark, Dwarf. And then below that, found 1,459 DR, so Dale Reckoning, which is how time is measured, in Red Larch West, West Quarry, in broken condition. How long ago was that? In the scale of today's to then, do you know? I think it's only a few decades. Okay. 
I'm going to collect all the coins and give them to I was going to say, I was going to start turning pots over and making yep. a pile. Yeah, I mean, the, the guy was waiting very patiently while he desecrated the dead bodies. Uh, <laughs> Stop lending the money to the constable. He's paying us. It's for the good of the town. Which is Here's wrong. a fair bit. Um, beyond the money, there are uh, six small green agates, which is worth five gold pieces each. And two polished moonstones. They're worth a bit more each. I think I've got everything on the floor, though. Cool. And then you also pick up this um, suspiciously Trap. decorated um, Trap. dagger. That yeah. is suspiciously decorated. It has like a <laughs> star motif and a grip of night blue leather. Yeah. Oh, okay, I've got one with that. Yep. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Um, Independently, as you go over the rest of the stuff with your right hand. You see something written on the, the pommel of the dagger as well. I read it. Uh huh. In my head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you don't, no. uh, it says Rizur. Rizur. As in like razor but fancy. R E S Z U R. Right. In what language? Um Rizur. Common. Mm. It's only Rizur if it's from the Rizur region of France. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise it's just sparkling knife. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Bravo, I found the sparkling knife. Oh. <laughs> Why is it sparkling? That's really strange. You are feeling a sense of magic from must be all the sparkling. Oh, welcome to the statue. Uh, stab the statue a little. Does it do anything? It cuts in bees in your statue. My heart just goes like... <laughs> stabbing a knife into the side. It doesn't block the knife at all. It doesn't seem to. Hmm. I do think they're the betrayers of the party. Anyway, let's head on. I don't think there's any more abuse here. Which door should we turn? <clears throat> no. The square door. What did the park say? It said patri- petrified door. Uh, yeah. I keep chipping. <laughs> right, it's still a stone. It's, yeah, you don't find a gooey center. All right. Um, you, keep, you just keep going at the crotch. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's not a caramel just, koala of a dwarf. Just quietly, before we push on. <laughs> yes. Things that petrify other things. Do you think we are likely to find anything down here? That's why we put the meat sacks. They go first. If they see it, you leave. Oh, oh. tender stone, anyway. Thank Which is you funny, because we've been following you guys the whole yeah. time. Like you're, in the, you're leading this right now, congratulations. <laughs> no martial order ever has the wizards at the front. We're at the back, mate. <laughs> uh, I was Too leading you, one of you went through that door first. You're fine oh, against petrification so long as you use a reflective surface. It's well known. Petrification reflects back, so as long as you have a mirror in front of you, you're fine. As long fine. as you see it coming. That's why you put the mirror in front of you. I mean, I don't want to spend the rest of my life walking around with a mirror in front of me, though. <laughs> I go up and polish an old ass forehead. But you are magnificent. <laughs> Usually he oh, has yes. a piece of him. <laughs> anyway, which door shall we take? The square one. We've got to vote for the square one. <laughs> the square I don't one. see a square one here, but... I like to go for the circle. <laughs> Do we have any oh, words for the triangular oh, oh, oh. turn and walk to the left? <laughs> <laughs> the so the doors went directly across from you all to the right. So you walk to the left of the wall. Brother, over here, and I head to the right door. It just happens to, to find a trap door and he disappears. Was there anything right from when we came in? Yeah. Was there anything else in this room other than the big statue in the centre? Um, well, the loot they took. Alright, uh, I'm just going to have a fucking standard look around, see if I can find any, like, yeah. uh, secret, doors. Six, secret doors. Where I'm standing. Oh, 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 there's no door here. Right right you know, like you walk up to me like, oh, what's the matter? R E S Z U R. Uh, 18 to look for a secret uh, door. Or... You don't find a secret door. It looks like um, the majority of foot traffic goes uh, from one side of the room to the other. However, you do sometimes see. You do see that it looks like sometimes. Surprisingly enough, your character knows this. Uh, bodies sometimes get dragged to the right. I mean, I drag my fair share of bodies. To the right. <laughs> to the left. To the left. <laughs> <laughs> Put my bodies in the coffin to the left. Um, uh, which way was uh, Molveth going? That way. Alright. Where the bodies were being dragged. I mean, if you consider that we've just come from a mine where we dragged the body in, we dragged the body out, we dragged the body in, and then the giant shook it all about. <laughs> yeah! Did the hokey pokey! <laughs> Uh, you go down a um, fairly long, about a hundred, oh, maybe not a hundred, like 60 feet cor- long corridor. It's a 10 feet wide, 10 feet high, fairly standard uh, corridor. Uh, still worked stone. Um, you walk down it, 
Uh, eventually there's a slight little kink at the end of it. And you go into a room that's 20 feet by 20 feet. Uh, just floating in the middle, uh, I think uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi captured by separatists in episode 2. Uh, <laughs> everything's a solid reference. <laughs> oh, you're all um, Is what appears to be a, a man-shaped... Uh, man. Uh, boulder. Sort of moving slowly. It's like a golem. Well, I don't think that thing is going to speak common. I don't look down here. <laughs> I head to the back of the party. <laughs> I start trying my languages. I'm guessing if anything was it's going to be primordial. You'd be correct. <laughs> it's either going to be primordial or dwarvish. So, uh, the corridor, after, after right. the room, there, the corridor does continue along down the other ends. Um, so it's sort of slowly spinning around, it's just trying to sort of move. Probably, well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you don't want us to help you then? Do you want a biscuit? Um, <laughs> cookie? <laughs> um, cookie? Uh, yeah, uh, you are forbidden from this place. And you're going to stop us how? Hmm. <laughs> Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> it seems to just be trying to swipe at you. I stand back a little bit, just out of rage. Yeah. And are there others that have passed through recently that you've failed to say? Do you still have the rock helmet? Yeah. It doesn't seem inclined to answer. Uh, roll a can. Uh, 23. If it's been summoned with a command like guard this room, it's not going to tell you what goes on. I'm going to assume that since it's trapped here, that someone's trapped it here. And if it can't attack us, probably not the right people. And I hold up the rock helmet. Do you recognise this? He asks if you recognise it. No, I can speak you take the, Okay. <laughs> you take the rock helmet off him? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, see it sort of look at you. I do not know you. Try punching me twice for yes, and try punching <laughs> me once for no. <laughs> <laughs> so he recognises it. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Now I think we can communicate from <laughs> the... <laughs> Kick us off in one speed. Yeah, that's how it feels. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah... Did you do this and you found power? <laughs> Alright, back to the original Nothing question. Wondering if Has if someone gone past recently? You know the drill. <laughs> he seems yeah. to like you. <laughs> literally talking to I you. put the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's, does he respond differently to... Oh, he seems to be paying you more attention. Okay. And he doesn't seem to be trying to punch the air in front of your face. Am I not pretty enough? <laughs> I try to punch him. Oh, <laughs> cool. What do you want to know? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, ask him if anyone's come through here recently. Has anyone come through here recently? <laughs> what was the name of the uh, the Earth God that they like? They were like worshiping. Obramok. Obramok. And uh, Morbath. Can I uh, have that holy symbol you collected? Sure, but I need it back. All right. Experiments, not a problem. Are you kidding? I'm a juvenile half elf who's about to try and make a giant rock dance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll hold up the holy symbol and say we're here as followers of Obama Lock. You're I'm not speaking like, right now. So, 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 <laughs> say what I just said. <laughs> he holds up and says, finds so. you very attractive <laughs> and would like to mate with you. <laughs> <laughs> You don't, you don't really know my kings very well, do you? <laughs> I'll give anything a shot. Big beautiful boulders. <laughs> I'll make me a half boulder. <laughs> I mean, it brings new terminology to getting your rocks off. <laughs> but he's not the only one that's rock but once you <laughs> once you present the <laughs> symbol, uh, it seems to treat... Yeah, similarly, like, it seems to be flicking between you two. Like, Oops. This can only go well. I've got an idea. I say in primordial, he stole it. <laughs> uh, well, I thought it to you, so. <laughs> he put now. this on. 
I can't put that on as well. Now make him dance. <laughs> dance. <laughs> That's the running man. Dance. That's the running man. <laughs> right, now let's push him backwards. Push him backwards. <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> to emphasize, you can just like walk around the walls oh, and yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, fully like, aware of this. I'm, I'm like two seconds away from that. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. Um, who trapped you here? Um, I'm a guardian, a Laracala. Is that a name that the constable recognizes? No. Yeah. Ask him if there's anyone else ahead. Is there anyone else ahead? No. Um, Alright, how do I release you from your imprisonment? Don't do that! Do you speak properly? <laughs> I simply need I to... Assume you're next to I simply need to be pushed. Okay, noted. And I walk off. <laughs> <laughs> there it is! <laughs> <laughs> He's rock. He doesn't have emotions. He's fine. Oh, wow. See a single rock tear. <laughs> <laughs> he cries diamonds. Upset him again. Upset him again. Kick him in the nuts. <laughs> How very hypocritical. You didn't even, you didn't even have a name <laughs> like two days ago. People with names don't have emotions. <laughs> Every golem in the world now is has their ears burning to fight you. So you. How do we know he doesn't have a name? I don't want to ask him his name in case he gives me one. Is everyone throcky? <laughs> Headed through this room? Yeah. Sure. Can everyone make a um, just dex check? Oh boy! Just to dodge the punches. Six! 19. Oh dear. 21. <laughs> Two! 10. So... So these two at some point look like they both step forward, <laughs> like, like they <clears throat> sort of clip like a bit of like stone sticking out and move within range of this thing. It looks like it's you and you, yeah. It just starts swinging its fist towards you. Probably don't. No, bad down. <laughs> bad sit. Rocky, sit, bad. boy, sit. <laughs> Squirt with what's, water. Uh, what's true dreams AC? Uh, 18. Uh, yeah, she's fine. <laughs> what's yours? Not 18. <laughs> I'm a squishy wizard. Significantly lower than 18. <laughs> How long has it been since the fight upstairs? Mm, you haven't been resting. 11. No, not resting much. He's not for me. Jump is up. Uh, last right hours. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah. What's yours? 11. Look, I'm a wizard, just assume if you aim at me, it hits. <laughs> uh, oh, look, you can wear armor. You take nine hit points of damage. <laughs> and it starts looking low. Actually, as it hits you, it moves slightly off center. <laughs> this thing where it's holding. Um, which means it's now out of reach, but it's also realizing it might be able to like, keep the momentum going. And be free! Swings around. Gotta go faster. Is there another door in this place? If it's well, not the, no, the corridor continues. Right. Have I made it there? Yeah. Sweet. I'm, I'm gonna hit inside corridor. Okay. Is it big enough for the boulder to get in? Mm. Like five minutes ago. Yeah. Like, oh, I mean, the issue. <laughs> First person. Down. I mean, it is a earth elemental. I pull out my saw so if it comes near, I'm gonna push it away. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. So you all get through the room? I'm going to nurse my bruise and go, you're a very bad man. A very bad man. A very naughty boy. It dashes its rock eye like <laughs> <the> eyelashes. <laughs> Don't make me get the paper out. So he, he the gone. Sorry? So Turns out those elementals are race actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you have a way, way through. Uh, so you keep you don't go too much further until the path goes to the left. Um, and uh, as you do you start to smell uh, death and burn death ah wait for the weak shield to go first we're behind you that's why, that's why I said I'll wait <laughs> that's why for Corona we can't the treasure can't get past you yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm going to get the rocks I can I mean, follow him and be like ah, meet you <laughs> we'll just flatten against the wall and let you throw it 
I, I, I still like just kind of squish you on the way through. Elbow is just like she shuffles past, just like through from the face. <laughs> yeah, it's basically like titties in one person, butt on the other, just like kind of sidling. Imagine it would be like stomach back to the top of your arm. She'd have me think. Uh, so once you get in there, you see that there's a s- series of um, like there's three very eaten human corp like bodies. Mm-hmm. Um, and you see two giant rats. Rodents of unusual size. I don't believe they exist. Believe that if you want. Look, regular size rats. <laughs> Your god rejects these. <laughs> I'll never get tired of that joke in my life. No <laughs> <laughs> I had to do it to him. Anyway, as you're saying, giant rats. Mm-hmm. Rats of unusual size. Two of them. Just two of them? Yep. Just casually munching? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to head past. Uh, yeah, sure. This, this, this like might be dinner. up to you. <laughs> Maybe make sure they're friendly. They're rats. <laughs> they're rats. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well spotted, brother. Right you must be the smart one of the two. Ah, uh, you already the trouble I am. Just let me chill and just watch them. Fine, in prime audio. Rats, come here and sit. Roll an animal handling test. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> sit, you will sit. Right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you go to one, then something happens. I understood that. I don't think that will work. You kidding? I'm just gonna go with like animals. Speak with animals and then try it again. <laughs> be like, oh, I command everything. Alright, you roll an animal hand check or use what you have. No, it'd be alright if I didn't waste all of my uh, spell slots before we came down here. <laughs> waste. <laughs> so, but you do think that. You no, no, I, ne- I never had any for combat oh, because yeah. I blew them all and we were supposed to rest. Uh, so, uh, you do think you could make a, a wide path around them and yeah. you wouldn't disturb them? Yeah, that's what I was doing. I'm just like, eh. So we'll get everyone to make a little handling check. Well then. Oh, fuck. Oh Three. no. 14. <laughs> fuck. We're getting attacked. I got a five. Oh, Six. 20. Natural? No. Oh, no. Uh, more fail than fast. So thanks a lot, jerks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so these two rats. See fresh Keep meat. Scared. Who you got the lost? Me. Of course. Cool. Um, meat sack goes first. Bowie, we were on initiative because, um, oh, right, you right, know, right. you guys aren't like too surprised. By this. Fuck. <laughs> I go last. Anyone above twenty? Twenty-two. Sixteen. <coughs> Eleven. Four. The two people who rolled no, past the rats fail initiative. <laughs> you sit, you uh, uh, you realise that uh, Moboth has gone too wide, and there's some squeaking from a crevice behind him, and it's coming aggressively closer. Do we and the ones in the middle of the room are turning around and responding. Do we still have a wire up? Yep. All right. At least that's something. At least I can see. Um. It only disappears when Brett says so. I will. Oh, yeah. Cast it's concentration Kendrick. spell. It's Kendrick. It's concentration as well. Then no. hope I don't fall unconscious. No, it's me casting else's concentration. It goes away. Which is relevant at the moment. Yeah. Okay. Um. I can't see where the squeaking came from. But near Morbeth, do not like I can't see any rats. No, uh, Piers are probably currently in the wall. But there are the two in the middle of the room that look like they're turning around. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll shout out to Morbeth, get away from the wall, and then I'll just, like, throw two daggers at the. Dagger, like, dagger. Yeah. Um, well, just dagger, 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 dagger that's it. Yeah. <laughs> dagger, dagger. Alright, yeah. Roll your attacks. Uh, uh, so one each. So the yeah. first, I'll, I'll give the first one sneak attack. Uh, you don't have sneak attack. Oh, right, I don't. Well, equal roll thing. Well, that's pretty sneaky. Uh, so the first one's about 20. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, 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 well. Well, well, well. I do declare. I do. I do believe I'm getting the vapors. 
There you go, that's your voice. Oh! Fucking, uh, eight. That's nine, eight. ten, eleven. Eleven points of damage from one dagger. Maximum damage. Yeah. Yeah. Maximum max, effort. Max damage on a crit with one dagger. And then the other one Feels is... Good. Fucking max damage again. Ooh. So, um, seven. Ten points of damage. Squeak! So that's two right sound. This rogue is on fire! <laughs> um. <coughs> uh, we you go. take his advice and move away from the wall, and you see like three giant rats sort of squeak out and squeak out and miss you. Um, true dream. Cool. Yeah, now visible. Cool. How close are they to me? Um, you can move up to them. This is a pretty small range. Okay. <laughs> we have a. Oh, you, I want to do an enchanted <laughs> weapon that screams "Pray by him every time she swings it. Twenty-one. <laughs> oh, here. Sweet. This is the Warhammer of Bane. <laughs> oh, what cast has been the spell Bane? Not exactly. <laughs> as a wisdom, as a like wisdom damage onto the end of it. Cast thunderclap and goes Bane. Bane. Nine damage. Spring. 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 I'm going to head to the other side of the room and then I'm going to say, just cast chill traps in one. I assume you're 17 hits. Yes. I have one damage. Oh, amazing. Nothing happens. Well, if I take some damage, but. Uh, Emerus. Um, I've <laughs> cast 24 points of sleep damage <laughs> across the room at wherever the rats were. And this is why I went to the edge room, guys. <laughs> Thought there aren't any rats in the centre of the room. Um, does anybody more. have less than 16 hit points? Currently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who isn't an elf? Okay. <laughs> Who has the least hit points in the I have 14. Uh, I also have 14. She's closer. <laughs> so, Callum. <laughs> okay. One day we'll make it through fine. <laughs> so he's just like, squeak, squeak. <laughs> <laughs> what, two the last two rats. Uh, the last two rats fall asleep. Floor. Uh, <laughs> how would you do that, brother? Uh, why not? You really need to crunch, <laughs> not keep spamming that spell. <laughs> crunch. Wow, you just could have grunt, no? No, the rat. Oh, okay. <laughs> While they're down, I'm just crunching their head in so they don't wake up. <laughs> Jeez, that's too harsh. You want to wake up? <laughs> yeah, it feels. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what, it would be handy to be a rat down here. Get in all the crevices. Ah. Actually, weren't you telling me that all you need to do is eat the heart of these animals and you can gain their powers? Well, I don't know, I've never done it. Oh, we'll have no her away, take Cal enough over my shoulder and just let him rest. Alright, is there a rat that there's like <laughs> at least the middle section <laughs> left? Yeah, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're, they're all more missing in their head. Okay. Yeah, Cal just... did a couple of decent... Uh, like, you know, knife to the throat and stuff like that as well. But okay. I was just focusing on the brain area. Right in front of Emerus, I'm going to pick up a dripping rat, cut it open, pull the heart out, well, like this. Well, there's one conveniently with a knife still in, the, in it. <laughs> Do you probably put that talent weapon all. along with him? I probably should, yes. I Pro- just, probably should or do? You, I will. You can just wake him up, you know. I think he needs a nap. <laughs> I think we might need a nap. Like one of my three not two of my three nights. <laughs> I'm collecting your knives, don't worry. Thank you. So yeah, you split open. Alright. Oh, start eating the center of a rat. I'm already <laughs> regretting this. You're an idiot. Is there oh, any uh, people chance that he's doing this? Joe. 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 Stop. 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 Can you make a concert? Sing you the song of my people. Skull, 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 skull. <laughs> four. <laughs> Bad rat. There's four more rats. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bits of rat hanging out. <laughs> I choose to walk and stare at the opposite corner <laughs> intently. I collect all of Callum's knives and just like let him rest over my shoulders and just lean against the wall, not crushing him and just waving this out. I get in front of Emerus. Well, this one was clearly a bad rat. Does this one look any better? Yes, just eat it. 
<laughs> Get off the go again. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. You eat the heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, he starts switching a bit. Mm. You feel uh, you've taken some part of the essence of this great noble beast into you. Great noble. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to start somewhere. You know how bad it is. <laughs> you know what's going to happen. We're going to go into a bar one day. They're going to be like, I've got a rat problem. And he's going to be like, do it, do it. Walks in with this giant rat under her arm. That's not a rat. This is a rat. I well, see you played rat Mousy before. <laughs> <coughs> but yes, um, you now feel... Uh, you, your lessons were incomplete due to the yeah. death of your master. Uh, he taught you how you would summon the spirit of the animal once you've yeah. taken part of it. And you now feel that you could summon forth a, a giant, giant rat. <laughs> and that's its stats. Yes, you need them. Yeah, I will. And I'll probably get back at some point. Um, yeah. Can you roll a con save? <laughs> <laughs> Do what the DM tells you. Unbelievable. Yes! <laughs> You don't throw off everywhere. <laughs> I was looking very intently at the wall. Yeah. You were trying really hard. It was one of those ones where you were trying, it was just like dry wrenching, nothing came out. <laughs> no, I sort of pulled out a coin halfway through and started practicing coin tricks just to take my mind off of it. I thought you were going to say you were just chewing on the coin like some bread to try and settle your stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Get some of the ballet in there. <laughs> I got bored and searched corpses. They're rats. No, oh, they're rats. Oh, they're the corpses. Yeah. Um, they appeared to um, just be uh, basically commoners from what you can remain to tell from the Just moment. basic bitches. Basically. With rat excrement everywhere. Yeah. Giant rat excrement. Oof. Even bigger. Can you roll a con save? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to roll a con save. Because that's it. 21. Yeah. Always do what the DM says. No, you're fine. Oh. Always challenge. Um, I'm just going to keep walking now that like they're yeah. distracted and I'm just going to take the light source with me. As she walks up I'm going to slap the rogue awake. Oh. He is on can you even reach up here? He what is like right over my shoulder. You're not that tall. Big. <laughs> 40 feet tall. Let me get the ladder. <laughs> I can't spider climb so I can just <laughs> Just straight over. Um, so yeah you go another um, probably about 100 feet but it curves around until you reach the back of a large stone door. Uh, that looks like it's been moved a number of times and now kind of just propped in place. Uh, you see actually light from the side. Hmm. Is that daylight? Is that the way in? Have we been down here that long? I highly doubt that. I step back. I like the racket group. Moves there. easily. My. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, considering it's a stone door, it moves easily. Well, that's <laughs> so the uh, cuts problem. back, we've been following it. So yeah, still sitting in the shop. Yeah. Just watching me eating dead rats. <laughs> You're like the girl on her boyfriend's shoulders. <laughs> 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 Look, it's 40 years of butcher experience. It's not like he's never eaten a live rat before. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, maybe not eaten, but he's oh. sold a few. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so you swear. see um, to your left, <laughs> there's a corridor that leads to a door. And to your right, there's another corridor that leads to a door. Directly in front of you is another stone door. Hmm. Well, it appears we have three choices. Stone door. Okay, you may open it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's far too heavy for me, my dear. Oh, there you go. Guess door number three it is. <laughs> <laughs> I could go get the golem to open it. Let's just leave him. <laughs> yes, let's perhaps leave him forever. Oh. So, so there was three doors. Um, yeah. One that was just like propped up on it. Yeah, there's like this stone one in front of you. Is there just like it's kind of just leaning on the Is there is there like uh, any gap or whatsoever that I could kind of slip in, or is it? You'd have to move it, but there is a gap on the other side. All right. <sighs> All but right. you do see there are torches <coughs> in brackets here that are lit. I take one. Yep. You have a lit torch. I take the other one. Not to be one up by the lit brothers now. You have a torch. Lit, no, yeah. <laughs> you reach torch up. Out. Get lit. Yeah. <laughs> this is how we do our fusion thing to sleep now. <laughs> and the torch keeps me asleep. What do you guys think? That, um, practice that. Yeah, alright. I guess True Dream, do you want to open it up for me? And Let's I'll step back. Duck in there. Very well. 
<laughs> and as she like opens it up, I like, like one, two, three, four, slip four, four, five, six. Uh, yep. Yeah, so you uh, head down. <laughs> the corridor goes about forty feet and then turns to the right, uh, and then it sort of uh, just peters out, and you see uh, what appears to be a long drop. So just a. Just a loop. Well, it's like a bench. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. It's, just, just it's a, a fancy long drop. It's a fancy toilet. Because even people in a dark underground dungeon need to go poopies. I'll come back up and, like, put my hand out. Can I have that torch quickly? I'll just slink sl- sl- back in. Whose torch? See if I can fly to see anything glittering on the long the drop. And <laughs> sheer know. curiosity. The giant pepper worm comes. Oh, my God. It's gold. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> What's um, the airflow down there? Like methane builder? <laughs> no, it doesn't look like it's been. Like on closer inspection, you think this is probably more from perhaps even maybe not the dwarven times, but it hasn't been used for like decades. Uh, no time like the present. Drop your trousers. <laughs> time to go. You know what? <laughs> yeah. How I will. Is this all? <laughs> not deep enough. <laughs> the second he sits down, I cast Druidcraft and put out the torch. <laughs> I actually, I mind passing him my light, yeah, yeah. which oh, is my cantrip light. They didn't pass him his light. No, we didn't. I look. It's a long drop. It's I, a toilet. Hey, I just got put to sleep. I'm just, I'm just taking <laughs> my time. Hey, hey. You know, I'm just like, fuck it. Like that <laughs> morning ritual. Yeah. <laughs> While he's doing that, put him to sleep. It's just. I <laughs> sent my raven in and looked through. How deep is a long drop? Is it like? Is it like a hundred feet? It's only like 20, 30 feet. Alright. So you're raven. It's like it's not not I'm just like sitting there like straight. It's like... It's like a bulkhead, but let's go on there. If you want to add D, the long drop is... Uh, <laughs> <see>. 22. <laughs> so like the, the raven takes splat damage. I make it disappear and then reappear. The crap of God. It is. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> he goes shit. <laughs> <laughs> I turn to Emesis and I pull out a gold coin. Would you like to make a bet, Emesis? We are allowed to do it. Are we allowed to make a bet? Yes. We want to in, in okay. I my bet fucking you to run in the air and push someone. him in. <laughs> that would be hilarious. All we do is take a fucking <laughs> shit. I take your hand and I fold it back over the gold coin anyway. Like, and I go tear him in there and push him into the toilet. It's like living in a crock house in your fucking 20s. I can't take a shit in peace. People throwing water on the floor. Oh, athletic. <laughs> Can I try and dodge out of the way so he falls in? This is a grapple check. Like, some grapple check. Uh, five. So athletic. 14. 15. <laughs> what did you get? 14. <laughs> Mm. What? <laughs> Make a deck save. No, two of both. <coughs> uh, decks will be 18. Uh, no, you move out and you try to push him in, but. <laughs> no. <laughs> he like spider holes and stuff. I'm like, oh no. No, 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 no. Still got my pants down, just like shake off a little bit. More pants <laughs> <laughs> so you'll return to the. Back to your work. Yep, and then I'll try the other door. <laughs> so it is a corridor to your left and a corridor to your well, a corridor west and east. Trigger is just standing there with like a thousand yard stare because why are boys like this? I don't, I don't know why they're like this. <laughs> I go to the left on Abyssos, would you mind? In I go. Um, so you head down, you open the door, you see a, a large cave um, with a, a gently sloped path leading up to your right. Um, on a peg to the left of uh, the door you just opened, uh, which is an iron door, uh, is a series of like um, robes similar to the ones you saw uh, on the people in the quarry. Um, cool. Looks like there's also just some dry torches there, you know, like a barrel. Yep, I got a torch and a robe. Mm-hmm. Put it on, dance around. I'm a bad guy now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Some check, check. Good God, I can't wait till the job's done here. So I can just sit in for a while. So, what do you guys do now? I guess we go back to the other door. Alright, you head back. So, you <laughs> walk down this corridor. Um, uh, actually, I will take uh, a couple of those robes. I'll find the one that fits me the most. Yep. And I will take it. Yep. They look pretty uh, <clears throat> communal. But yeah, one so it's like roll it up, throw it in the bag mm-hmm. just in case. Do they have the right <laughs> idea? Should we try to disguise ourselves? Those look filthy. Oh. <laughs> 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 so 
So you never look good. too clean. Sorry, I'm just looking forward to the idea of you sitting at the tavern. You're like, finally, some peace. Me, my drink, and the bartender goes past. And there's you sitting next to a giant rat that goes, Freeze me! <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you start heading down uh, this corridor to the, the last door, and um, with your perception, you sort of notice that above you, the ceilings are made out of like plaster tiles. You can hear just a faint jingling of chain. Uh, I check, uh, I start checking for pressure plates. Uh, well, investigation, perception, not all. And, no, I think they were about the same, actually. Oh, oh, fuck, fuck! <laughs> um, so I go perception, that's, uh, 24. Uh, you look around, it doesn't look like there's any pers- uh, pressure plates. You do see it looks like there are instances where you see, like, um, a couple of these sort of areas, you see, uh, broken bits of plaster. And wherever that is, there's like an imprint that's a square. Um, oh, so, oh, does it look like, does it look like a depression or like a, like something like slammed into depression. it or it's, um... No, it looks, or or it's like a, a, a box, not a... Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I'll point it out to everybody. Why don't we just try to trigger it before we go in? But you um, don't see any pressure plates or anything like that. Yeah. Um, you're pretty, like, you're, you're more than confident there isn't any. Got a knock on it. Is it hollow? You reach up to 10 feet and. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'll, um, I'll get up there. I'll, 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 climb, I'll climb tree tree. <laughs> mm-hmm. get, get, I just get stand up. like rock still. And I'll just, like, like, rock climb up the back of her and climb on her shoulders and I'll just kind of get a knife and, like, cut in there and see if I can see the trees. Something yep. follows down. You pull down this plaster made out of white asbestos. And <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm already dying. With the, with the light, you look up and you see it's basically a, a, an iron cage. You see um, chains go up. And there's a series of chains that go down this roll of like cages that matches above these uh, plaster tiles and this corridor. And all the chains go down to, uh, looks like, just beyond the door at the end of the corridor. So there's like, a, there'd be like a switch. To, You'd assume that yeah. it was manually triggered. All right, cool. Well, noted for later. Um, my point, I'd tell them basically what's going on and that there's a manual trigger further down, just in case <coughs> anything follows us, chases us, and we need to get them in here. And we're sure there's nothing waiting for us with that trigger. Well, I mean, we've, we've gone down a couple. They could have triggered it already. You and if, if, if need to be, we've got a giant Goliath that should be able to rip one of these cages out of the ground. All right. No I'll have a pat on the head. <laughs> like, ruffle her head. <laughs> we'll I'm stay as rear guard for now. Ruffle yes. her head. <laughs> I have, like, stubble on the seat. I'm going to put a toupee on it and ruffle her head. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys go down this corridor and you see there's an iron door there, similar. If there isn't, like, a, a handle or anything on this side, uh, then you see it. Uh, slit, um, but it's closed at the moment. I will. Um, what what I will say is, as the um, so they're like the the square bits are like segregated. So there's yeah, it's like every time we go to one of them, just like <laughs> like sprint <laughs> sprint over it, and um. So you're just doing a series of like rolls. Yeah, essentially, yeah. just like. Gotta get all the side. So yeah, you reach the door. Um. Get the knife, Jimmy the, the slide thing over. Yeah. Uh, you look into the next chamber, I assume someone gives you some light. Uh, you see a um, so there's a large standing stone in the middle of the room. Um, and so the light goes down, you see that there's a, a pile of rocks. So originally you just think of rocks, but slowly with your excellent uh, Perceptions, you realise actually they're moving slightly and appear there's something under them. Interesting, interesting. Tops, tops, tops. I relay said information. Um, is you've got this. We believe in you. You're just behind me. Anyway, we said we're standing. <laughs> uh, we will take another step back. <laughs> is it? Is it unlocked? Uh, it's, there's no real sort of handle or anything. All right, I'll try and like. It's okay, the light is actually one of my javelins, so worst case scenario. 
Which is... <laughs> <laughs> it appears to be latched on the other side. All right. Can't fit my hand through the slit. Is the hinge on this um, side? We need a fishing hook and some wire. You might be able to make a dex check. I can get my acrobatic. I'll take, I'll take my jacket sleeve out. <laughs> um, acrobatics is eighteen. Yeah, so it takes you a little bit, but eventually, yeah, you get like part of your clothes like hooked on the, the handle and pull it across, push it open. All right, open the door. And I look back at everyone and go, ta da! <laughs> Wonderful job. I give you two thumbs up from the back of the corridor. <coughs> He's learned to operate a door. Mm, yeah, from the wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> That's See long on sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I guess I'll I've knife out and I'll just kind of like kick the rocks and see investigate the pile of rocks and just, just start poking with the light javelin just yeah like, I, was, I, was, I was considering just like, like so, the sword. I, I want to be very clear what are you doing to the rocks um and I'm the person under just like shuffling them out of the way okay, like so with my foot just kind of like like sword and dagger out just like so you move this rock to the side and you see a, quite a, a small hand is pressed under the rocks and you just hear a faint sort of oh my I'll god put, put it away and I'll just start uncovering this potential body uh, you see a very uh, emaciated um, young boy, about ten. Um, I'm not the best with kids. I mean, I'm um, take it out smells some... like he's been here longer than a toilet break. I'm hey. gonna take out some rations for the child. Um, oh god, you should not interact with everybody else. Uh... <laughs> he's he looks really cut out of it. Like you see, like scared. Like his mouth's all cracked and dry. And I'm gonna take out some water and like yeah. Yeah. slowly he, pour a little bit into his mouth. He, he greedily water. starts taking the water. He wouldn't be able to eat hardtack or any trail rations or anything like that. Okay, yeah, I, I assume True Dream's carrying that fucking like bundle of meat we got from the, the constable. <laughs> I, I assume. <laughs> um, someone is. I, 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 didn't think, think I didn't think anyone else would want to carry something that heavy. That sounds a lot of meat. <laughs> <laughs> I offer sure, I can be carrying it. <laughs> I'm just so gonna yeah. let him drink for a little bit first to get some strength back. He drinks the water and then he starts drinking more and more of it until he sort of chokes because it's yeah. too much. And... It's okay, little one. Take your time. You're all right. Dad said I had to be here. He starts pouring the rocks back. Who's you no? Know, and I'll like I'll like pick him out of the like. No, 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 no. Who's your father? <laughs> Who was your daddy? I want to yes. do it. <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> Have a hand. Do I recognise that name? It's not on my list. Uh, it was the name of one of the elders. Alright. Oh, the, like, the, the family name. Yeah. Of the elders. Constable, who is Have a hand? I say as I start taking out some of, of the you meat see supplies, him. the softer ones for the boy. See him, he's looking really quite angry. He's like, Rotha, have a hand. This is Braylon. Raven, what a... thought I hadn't seen you in a while. What are you doing down here? I got in trouble. So like your you father put you under a pile of rocks. I, I didn't deliver a message I was supposed to. I only played for a bit and got lost. I think I've got a message to deliver to your father. I'm going to gently lift the boy out of the rocks. Hmm. And just kind of like gently hold him and make sure he's like sitting up so he can eat properly. I, I don't care that he's soiled. I never would have guessed you were maternal. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying you don't look the sort. Um, so as tribe the tribe are very maternal. The, the, the rocks move over. It looks like they were placed on him and uh, not to hurt him, just to sort of pin, pin, him. pin him. Or to hurt him, but not to break him. Yeah. Like, to not leave any lasting bruises. <laughs> not the face. <laughs> like the, the, the response from the constable. Hmm. Do I find that sort of, like, annoyed at the boy? As in... No, the he's... Breaking the way he said the father's name is like... Yeah. There's yeah. disgust at the father. Yeah, like, to be fair, this is a medieval world. Yeah. Beating your boy because he didn't deliver a message. Not unheard of. But well, there are limits. Child yeah, it's like, for not cool and unusual. Yeah. And the fact that the boy seems to be uh, accepting it as okay. the dumb thing. Yeah, every day a kind of normal It's thing. not okay. Yeah. So true, and just like carefully making sure he's eating, sitting upright and drinking so that like 
And she's just like gently petting his head so that like he doesn't collapse. <laughs> but Constable, how would you like to deal with this? Do you want to uh, do you want to take the lead on uh, dealing with his father, or I can I or can I um, <clears throat> have a word with him? <laughs> Father's just seen you shank like everybody you've come across. <laughs> <laughs> Not everyone, but he has made assumptions of a few. Um, it's all right, I can't he's leave, like, no, I don't want to deal with I can't leave a boy without his father, but I can teach his father a very valuable <laughs> lesson about pinning his child under rocks and torturing him. Um, no, uh... You can work well without a couple of fingers. Justice <laughs> you say you shank the son and Justice spit. must be done. <laughs> all right. We shall play the rough music for his father. Is there, is there anything else in this room? Uh, there looks like there's, um... A very large stall in front of like a series of chains that come down. That you. I'm gonna. Triggers. I'm a hazard. A real, real big guess right about now that we're under this dude's house. Is there another door out? No. Uh, or well, there's the door. There's a door across. There's no doors up. Yep. I'm gonna head down and be like. So is there a reason we're not asking this child why he's down here? We, we have asked, oh well, he's down here because his father told him he had to stay here. Why here though? Of all places, if he's being punished, this seems strange. Well, obviously his father regulars this area. Yes, but why? That'd be good. I'm going to be a believer one day. There we go. There it is. Well, mm-hmm. yes, that, that is how it works. <sighs> Tell us more about why you're down here, boy. I did deliver chain. a message, huh? I've fallen on chain. <laughs> so oh, that's close. Uh, oh, he's getting the boy dances. <laughs> he's going to say in the room in the helmet, lift the boy's head. What message? He is on my lap. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to let you rub hands on him. <laughs> Fine. <I> said, <laughs> it's like reach up and lift his head down. You go to rock hand with the child and she's like, <laughs> grabs your hand. <laughs> Good cop, feeding cop, bad cop, <laughs> confused child. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, I, um, <laughs> I didn't read the message I just had to deliver a message and... I don't believe you, I think you read it I didn't mm. You're questioning that the child that was lie. being tortured I feel like he's been like <laughs> literally tortured into being submissive I don't think it's in his nature currently to say no, right. That's alright, I've already right. checked. I'm disgusted. As far as I'm concerned, he's got a loving family. I mean, if, <laughs> if, if, if that was the case, he would have <laughs> he would have lied about the message and said he delivered it. Um, uh, Maybe he's too scared to tell his father a lie. <gasps> yeah, uh, put me back before Grunt comes back. Oh, Grunt. See him look over at the seat. <laughs> and I'm just like, to where is Grunt still behind us? <laughs> uh, no, Grunt's unconscious back ages yeah. ago. I knocked him out. Oh, right. okay. Back on the movie. Just yeah. left him. I'm just going to, like, storm and I go grab him and drag you back, motherfucker. Well, you can't actually leave yeah. because there's a cage now yeah. covering the corridor. Yeah, I know. I'm aware. Oh, well, there is a door across the side of the corridor. Up room. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to all uh, mess with the kid. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm aware that more more, more worse dropped all the cages. Okay. Just one. Yeah, just one. But it's one. enough. It's, um... <laughs> Can they be pulled back up? Like, can the cage be... I mean, there's a chain there. Logically, yes. At some point, they'd have to reset the trap. Yeah. I think we'll deal with that later. I'm still just gently care- caring for the boy. Anyway, back to why we're here. <laughs> Roll. <laughs> the men who are wearing this armour here, like his helmet, who are they? Uh, that was Larrick. Larrickar. And where is he from? I don't know. And what was he doing here? Ah, he, um, the Delvers called to him and he was telling us how to interpret their will properly. Oh. They've been guiding us for centuries in the town. Well, the Delvers have been been, uh, expunged from this plane. Well, that's that's not true. Some of them's left. Yeah. It seems your father has lied to you quite a bit. Good thing he Boy. sent us here to collect. <laughs> Roll a deprogramming from a cult. <laughs> Roll a persuasion. <laughs> one. <laughs> Not natural, but it's a two, and I have a minus one. <laughs> you are now in Uh I, I, I further program. <laughs> It's that thing with the, yeah, with cults when presented with evidence, people go more into their crazy yeah. beliefs. It's like. 
No, the, the doors can't be destroyed. And... I'm just going to pick him up. I'm just going to start walking towards the main door, just like pressing him against myself so that I'm mm. just carrying him on the way out. That, that real comforting cold armor. <laughs> <laughs> I was warm, I suppose. I mean, you've been fighting it. It's probably yeah. covered in blood. Yeah, that's a <laughs> rat blood. You weren't just splattering them. Um, there I am, dressed like one of them. Rat guts hanging out of my mouth, smiling. I'm just Comfort carrying, the chillo. Oh, fuck you. I'm I'm you're him. a nightmare right now. I'm carrying him and petting him, being like, it's okay, little, it's okay, little one. You're going to go home. What your father, you what your father has been doing has been not in the gods' true way. We'll make sure you're taken care of and things will be right. You do feel when you say, when you say taking you home, there's like just a mo- like he just locks up for a second. Uh, uh, it's okay, little one. It's all right. You're going to be okay. What has happened to you is not right. I'm going, I can't wait It is not in the gods' light to treat a child in this way. Bane is going to praise your daddy's face. <laughs> Bane, you've got a tyranny of murder. <laughs> he had a son that he looked after. No, he murdered each other. <laughs> yeah, he looked after him because he knew he needed his Actually, son. To be fair, Bane had a, did have a lot of children. He was a great parent. Yeah, yeah. and then they all and I, I believe the phrase is a score of mortal progeny. <laughs> so I'm yeah. guessing the plan, in line with our other plans, is to find the father and torture him for information, correct? We'll have a very gentle conversation that the constable will have his way. We'll let, uh, let justice follow its course. You, you say that, that you know, torture the father, like the kid just like squirms <laughs> out of your grasp and say, Nope. Uh, uh, roll, actually, roll counts, uh, roll athletics. Because. <laughs> <laughs> no dates for you. Uh, we have a 17. I rolled a 19. Damn it! <laughs> I reckon he's got all these plus. Well, it doesn't matter. You wouldn't have minus two. Did you add that? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so he just. He runs over. He attempts to and fails to kick you in the shin. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna like come back over, just pick him back up and put him back on. <laughs> no, no, little one. See, now if only you could cast sleep on singular people. <laughs> yeah, that's because this would be very magic. handy right about now. <laughs> I mean, let him run. <laughs> you know? I mean, if you cast sleep on them now and she falls on top of the kid. <laughs> just put a bell on him, let him go. <laughs> <laughs> then just tie a rope on and set the leash. <laughs> No, just wait till he gets like 30 feet away from us and then get that uh, Ambrose to just. <laughs> so at some point soon, you'll open the door. Yeah. The next room. That's what I was intending to do in the first place. <laughs> and that's where the door statue is. And you've now searched every room here. Yay! So we've done like a, a big full circle. Yeah. Was there, was there one that was like blocked off and we couldn't get to properly? No. It was in the toilet room. We went one way. What was the other? I know, there, that was where uh, the cloaks and things were. Oh, okay. Yeah, there, there is a path that sort of leads out of this section that looked like. Yeah, because I know there was one we didn't actually yeah. explore. So it most likely it leads somewhere up in village or Our village. Lounge. Well, I think we should go check that way. Just see where this... Whose house it was. Yeah, where the in. other entrance to this place is. Are you going to collect Grund? I'm sure he's fine on the floor. Constable, are you all right to collect Grund? I was just going to send the golem up the <laughs> No, no. <laughs> Go not bad. release that golem. <laughs> but then we can find out who his house it is the easy way from the quarry. Oh, I, I, If Grund is still alive, then he'll still be on the floor. I would like to have a word to him. Um, you go collect your boys. We'll uh, see where the other path leads and we'll see you in town, I guess. Mm. He stormed off. So we're just taking the boy with us then, I suppose. Okay. Hey, he's gone. Now can we kill the kid? I'm wrong. No. <laughs> Why not? He's bad. We don't. Um, <laughs> we do. No, we don't. <laughs> we <laughs> do. No, we don't. No. We do. Not quite what are we going to do with kid? We're going to take him home and keep him safe. I'll I just feel like we should go take him home. That's, just, that's definitely not where we should take him. Well, uh, I'll think about it this way. Uh... Sure, let's kill a child in the name of the Zendrum. Let's see how the town appreciates that. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 child. We still need him. Let's Enough! <laughs> we are taking this boy home. They could just drop another lung drop. Well, I'm going to assume whenever we do take so we kill it. Stop! <laughs> now! Stop! We are taking this boy home. And that is going to be the end of it. There is going to be no talk of torture. Oh, well, we'll there is no torturing father there. <laughs> there is That's going better. to be no talk of the cult. We are going to take him home. 
and we are going to keep him safe until we do and make sure he is kept safe. <laughs> I lean over to Amorous and say in Primordial, she didn't specify which home. <laughs> 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 you know where I'm going. You, know, you guys start to head back out, and we're going to go to a break there. So join us in 15 minutes to find out what happens next. Okay, oh. That's going to go wrong. Everything. Oh, many things. <laughs> Everything can go wrong.
<laughs> so anyway, back to killing that child. Yes. <laughs> healing that child. Anyway, so you are back in the uh, large cabin with the road and the like where there's a path to the right that slowly leads up. Looks like it's uh, not worked stone, just, but it has been like cleared out somewhere. Right, now that we've terrified the child, <laughs> go up and ask him, you know, where's your mother? He looks sad. Keep traumatising him, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, your real mother, I hear that she's a very Make tall lady. Make a persuasion lady. check. Oh, flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, six and probably horrible. Yeah, yeah he just climbs up. Nine. Like, mm. Yeah. I'm just going to gently pat. You've got a new mother. <laughs> I'm your mother now. We're not giving this child back, are we? I feel like you just traumatised this child so bad. If you strap the child to your shield, I'll give you an extra plus one on your AC. <laughs> I have played board games. Does she also get a plus four to her uh, invasion checks? Get a 19. The no, but persuasion against the Dreaded Emperor. Um, so you guys started up this path. Yep. Okay, for reference to how I'm carrying the child, it's like against my front. I got my shield on my arm, so it's like against his back. Yeah. With like my other arm just like cradling him underneath. So like oh, if so anything if he hits poops, me, the shield will catch it. It's. It's both points are rolled in poops. So I'm just like, if anything hits me from the front on, the boy is fine. Yep. If anything hits us from the back, it gets me in the back. What if we drop something from the ceiling on the boy? <laughs> um, also, the boy hasn't eaten long for so many days and it doesn't <laughs> happen. Yeah, I fed oh. him a bit of the meat. And is a his lot head of like over your shoulder? It's like. <laughs> Stop trying to work out how you're going to eat him. No, 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 no. I just want to make eye contact while I eat. <laughs> He's like nestled on. He's like nestled on my collarbone. Oh god! Can we stop talking about this, Carl? I love how we're just such assholes. <laughs> I'm gonna break all of your legs in your sleep. I'm like, mine. Except you're, you're safe for now. Great. You go to the water. You see, eventually, uh, this path goes up, and you see there's a wooden door at the other end. Like it looks like, uh, and work stone around the edge. I knock on the door. Come in. <laughs> you don't hear a response? You do, you hear me say come in from behind you. <laughs> okay. You don't hear a serious response. <laughs> uh, handle, lock. Uh, it looks like it's... Um, Slide lock. No, actually, no, it'll be key lock. All right. Uh, and it, it, then a handle there, yeah. All right, if it's locked, then I'll... Uh, put the thieves towards you. Break it. Get out, yeah. Hair clip and the screwdriver and... Oh, Ooh. fucking... I've got expertise in it as well. So, 16... Uh... Right hand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but I've got expertise with this actual theory, proficiency in thief source. You open it. Yeah, so, so it's like 20, <laughs> 23. Yeah. Jesus. But this level, if you get above 20, I'll open it. Okay. Yeah, I need, to, I need to actually write that down. Um, in my sheer idiocy and arrogance, you know, he says, come in. I said, don't mind if I do. And once the door's open, I pull it open and in I go. You go inside. Um, right. There's a couple of short steps and you see... Your darkness? Mm-hmm. Uh, you see um, what appears to be a, a wagon store. Very messy and untidy. Um, like, by wagon... Like uh, Wainwrights. Wainwright, yeah. So there's like half built wagons, uh, wheel being made, um, wheel and Wainwrights in, and um, all parts. Sort of place that you would go to to, you know, sort out a horse and cart. Yeah, if you're looking for one. <laughs> not all the cart and all. I'm not a fan of You've got to put the half cart before the horse. <laughs> um, before we go off, I'll true dream. Before we go, should we tidy the boy up a bit? No one will see him like this, it's fine. Oh, well, he's going to have to get down at some point, and someone will see him. Oh, what do we ask I him? literally have nothing that I can dress him with. No, but I can clean him up at least. Very well, but don't hurt him. Oh, this one gets out of hose. <laughs> <laughs> Goes to like prestidigitate and then just like bypass. <laughs> um, I'll start prestidigitating and cleaning him up. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go into the Wainwrights. Yep. And uh, is it like dark and they're like completely dead in there? Yeah. I'm gonna. Is there like an office area? Uh, it's like once Trudeau goes up a bit with the light, you can see him. And, um, uh, there is, uh, well, it looks like more an alcove than an office area. Are there any torches? Oh, uh, inside, no. 
But okay. every and those three still. Yeah, have I was going to say I'll go up with my torch and stop being a dick and throw a bit of light so yeah. that everyone else can see. I'll um, <coughs> I'll I'll like just like hello, anybody here looking to buy a horse and cart? <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear a response. <laughs> um, no, and as the light kicks around, you see the shutters are closed on the windows. There's some large doors that have been pulled shut. That it's a leak to that area. Uh, in, in the darkness, can we see any silhouettes of light creeping in? Actually, it's probably more likely we kill the people that owned it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, or it's pitch black. I'm well, sure didn't recognise them, so I don't think we did. Mm, no, you um, you don't see like any silhouettes. I mean, like, like, there is like upper windows, so you do. There's a little bit of light coming in. Oh, it was just more so that we could, you know, have a peer out and see, work out where we are. Roughly oh, you could just look, like open up the, the shutters quick. Yeah. If you do that, yeah, you're um, fairly close to the centre of town. Yep. Um, look outside, and yeah, you're building you've passed a number of times. Uh, there's some heaps of wagons out the front. The cheap and nasty, but perishable. No one mm-hmm. the quality of your cart. Yeah. Apart from that, it's about yeah. as you did the ritual at midnight. You guys haven't really spent that much time resting or doing. Oh, oh right, yeah. So it's like yeah. one, two a.m. Like it's yeah, we're not. It's dead quiet. Right. It was the time. That yeah. Was the time. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's the dead of night. I, yeah. I really recommend we head back. It's past that kid's bedtime. Perhaps the child should stay with us tonight to keep an eye on him until the morning. That uh, is what I, I think I was we should we should be leaving with Lawrence. I feel like you should give the child to the front of the wall. I feel like I don't you know if I trust any of these people. That's why I was suggesting Lawrence. At least we know we can trust him. It's a bit of an ask, isn't it? Showing up in the middle of the night with a child, saying, here we go, babysit, please. Well, I mean, if it's in the name of the Zentrum, which I like, I'll wait. Yeah. In the name of the... (laughs) Chief Eddie, this kid now... If you do that, this kid does have an adventure, like, adventure background now. (laughs) Especially oh, yeah, no, I'm totally going to try and recruit this kid. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ten levels later, he comes back and stabs us in the back. You killed my dad. <laughs> Boy, he comes out great to stay alive. Hello, father. <laughs> no, I am the father. Uh, you stole five of my father's fingers. <laughs> in the weirdest orders. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, you guys look around. Um, this is... Uh, well, there's uh, um, Wagon Works, <laughs> a name you recognise from the list of elves. Yep. Um, yeah. I sort of shrug a bit and then walk around behind the counter and start rifling through looking for coin. <laughs> like, if these guys are around me, I have no qualms taking their money. I mean, investigation. Just leave his two middle fingers, that way he gets beaten up a lot every time he points at something. Uh, just find just his pinky in his thumb. <laughs> Five <laughs> like it's at least pick stuff up. But you find a oh, like, strong box, like, or or yeah. it's like it's empty and open. It's like if someone was like trying to rock the place, they just look in and see it was empty. And not very yeah, It'd be uncomfortable. Oh, well, I think their money's gone. It is possible that we uh, killed a bunch of people in the quarry. A few people in the town just scooted. Mm, I doubt the elders would leave so easily. Uh, well, we I don't think they'll search them. around the place for any people. Sure. That's not just wagon crap. Did we... Uh, you want to head down to the quarry, see if we can... Do you want to help me, brother? ...the and his boys? <laughs> sure. Anyway. Um, I'm hoping the constable will be back by now, possibly back at the butchers, which isn't too far from here from memory. Regardless, you men can do that. I'm going to take the boy back to our room and make sure he's kept safe overnight. I'll pull out a bag and hand it to you. It's got cookies in it. I, like, gesture to my hip to <laughs> attach it. Oh, she uh, wants you to touch your ass. I know, I know. <laughs> And so, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm not comfortable with that. <laughs> so, did you get on your vessel? I love you. Gets a bit handsy while your hands are full. <laughs> Breaks extra legs. <laughs> I'll also I'll, I'll give you two gold for like meal and stuff for the kid, get him a bath and shit. Just, just to the other hip where the coin pouch goes. <laughs> no, it's going to make straight in the. Coin on the go. Straight in the breast pocket. Yeah. So yeah, you're actually pretty close. One gold coin, miss the kid, do it again. <laughs> Two gold coins. You are quite close to the constables, but also yep. about, but it is a similar distance to um, the Swinging Sword Inn. Yep. I'm heading back, straight back to the inn with the kid. I'm just going to go straight there, straight up. I will suggest we escort her back in case there's something waiting now that things have been stirred. Roll my eyes, escorting is, a little shit. Is there a... So, uh, I don't sorry, sorry, what, what, how far away are they? 
Wait. Houses. Okay, because I was thinking that if I got off of this that. building, I'd be able to, like... Snipe. Yeah. Um, yeah, this way it works uh, once you're looking out. And it's so familiar because it's um, on the central cross of the city. It's one of the corner buildings. All right. Um, so, yeah, if you're on the roof... Uh, I'll see if I can find a way up to one of the top buildings. Yeah, what's the range of the shot by 300 feet? Yeah, but yeah. I think it's 60 and then 300 feet display. Yeah, you, long range, you'd make the front door <coughs> of the, the inn. Alright, cool. Uh, the, and stealth with council. The, 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 the side streets are uh, fairly, like, are the buildings like tight together or are they like loose? Uh, they're pretty, they're pretty loose, like just wide enough for carts. Right. But it, it's not like there's suburbs. Yes. Yeah. Like two rows. You reckon I, because it is, if this is a tall building, could I jump from this one to the next one? Um, no, oh, you, cool. you've got a sort of a trade road between. Ah, okay. So that's not right. in the direction you want to go anyway. You could can possibly... we walk down the street to the door of the inn with him keeping track of us the whole way? Yes, it's not far at all. All right, yeah. Well, then I'll do no, that. And I'll, I'll give you a boost onto the roof. Do the same rope thing. I'll basically have an anchor point and if I need to. Yeah. Just drop down. Off we go then. Can you please make a just straight charisma check? Sure. Cool, nice job. <laughs> we got a seven. Mm-hmm. So you're headed towards the inn. Um, so going part of the way, uh, he sort of looks over where the um, the helm at High Sun. Tavern is, and this human goes, Help! Help! I back away from the party. <laughs> it's a general perception check. There's a 22 on stealth, by the way. Yeah. I stay up you, front. you don't hear, hear it. Interesting. <laughs> he said that and he was like, <laughs> It's just like muscular. <laughs> We're trying now, quiet boy. We're keeping you safe, child. You'll be safe soon. So you get into the inn. Just gonna go straight up, just walk straight through determinedly, and like, I have a purpose. I, as you head through, um, you see the, one of the, the staff members sort of look and to get a bit of recognition on the child, but keeps quiet. Go up and place a gold piece on the counter and then walk away. <laughs> We're not kidnapping I'm like, children. I'm like, don't go up and say child abduction, child abduction. Like, it's not child abduction. It's child rescue. I mean, who's she going to go tell? The constable? <laughs> well, I saw the new people in town with the trial. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> we don't want to tell the father. True. I mean, actually, I don't mind. Bring him. Yeah, as long as you've got those. <laughs> Fucking let True dream him. Let like, like True dream at him. <laughs> Let's just keep it quiet for now, we can. You get him up to your room upstairs. Um, as soon as he's fed, warded. Come to a bed, he's out. Yeah, just like gently he's tuck just him up. Too exhausted to care at this point. Little guys all tuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> and then like rope him to the bed while he's tucked in. <laughs> <laughs> so he can't run. <laughs> I need my anxiety rocks. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what I meant by a waste blanket. <laughs> it's like a fucking it's like a fucking like security blanket, but it's a pile of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, yeah. <laughs> just just get my arm. The four corners of the bed sheet, tie them together, hang him from the ceiling. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> when, um, do I, do I see the const- constable come back at any point? Well, you know, he doesn't know where you guys are staying. Yeah, no, oh, exactly, like, you're out. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, you would see him come down past the swing sword in, uh, with Grund, whose hands are loosely bound. Again. He <laughs> seems to have... Not really understanding how much trouble he's in. <laughs> I mean, in, the, in not in the room. I think we should recruit him to this entire room. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> He'd give up the goat too early. Um, <laughs> he only has to survive for four levels, but we can make him zombie. Then I can, okay, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll jump down. I, if if I, I don't need to come go down in a hurry, then I'll just like undo the rope and get down through the inside and leave normally. Yeah. You don't do the incredibly dangerous thing. You just yeah. go like some tall person. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, it's like a, it's like the fucking sailing down the road thing, just like shh, with your foot, and then just. Um, so yeah, so you head down. It's probably bad for me to mention this, 
Sure. But has anybody given us sideways looks as the party walks in while I'm wearing this medallion and helmet and robe? <laughs> no, thanks for running. <laughs> no. They seem to enjoy it. They seem to be like, oh, we're out now. Uh, Oh, good, everyone. Stop pretending <laughs> everyone in the city pulls out. Oh, <laughs> <You're>, shit. <laughs> we come downstairs, the whole bar's just including Lauren. <laughs> in the room. Wait a minute, you lied to us. Of course I did, I'm a cultist. <laughs> of course I did, I'm one with the Zentaro. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> you know, I can't even be angry with you right now. <laughs> Roll an insight check. There we go. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't know, at least there's a positive <laughs> five. Um, you're concentrating on other things. <laughs> I'm too up myself at the moment. You are elsewhere. I'm not. You're, I'll let you make one as well. <laughs> what am I looking for? Insight. Not much better, but maybe over a low DC. Uh, insight is going to be 13. That's 18. I've got it written down. <laughs> no, no one's noticed. I mean, people look at him, but. I'm already assuming we're in high danger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in danger! <laughs> I'm, I'm staying at the top of the thing for the banana, ready to just go banana. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you hear what Sam's like. In that case, I'm going to be there with a bag of nuts. I'm basically yeah. just going to clock out with the child. Yep. I'm going to go to sleep. Why is this still not working? Was Actually, the child, no. like, in the bed sheets? I'm, like, just going to be on top of the bed sheets, so, like, next to him. So, like, arm around on the other side, and then just, like, clog down. Actually, I've been up for, like, two and a half days because of my friends that she's like, sleep's not working on you, so you shall stay awake with me. So, about now, I'm just probably going to naturally fall unconscious. <laughs> Well, me being rested and being a night owl, I'll go see the constable. You also have had micro naps. Yeah. So you're fine. Yeah. I love being put to sleep randomly for a small burst of time. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm covered in fucking bruises. <laughs> you had to help up the constable. Um, he uh, is in. As you approach, you see, like, you look down the, the uh, path, you see that, um, yeah, in one of the back rooms, he's one of the boys is outside, and you would assume that. You've seen him mock people back there before. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just... I'll stroll in like I work there. Just kind of like straight past the desk, straight past everyone and just walk up like... Sup, bitches. Uh, Pick up a bit uh, of start an oracle. Let's see, man, can I can find. <sighs> yes. Yes, we do. We've, uh, we've taken the boy over to the inn. He's currently lodged in there. We didn't really know where else to take him. And hopefully get him some food and... Good. I've been getting uh, some information out of uh, out of Grunt here. Grunt's like, <laughs> eating like a drumstick. Um, uh, yes, apparently um, a number of people have been uh, involved in some pretty, uh, yeah, some pretty dark deeds. You stumbled on quite the viper's nest there, and should be incredibly grateful for what you've done. Uh. How? What's the likelihood of this whole town heading south rather quickly? Like tomorrow morning, are we possibly going to wake up with a uh, knife think to the throat? You should be fine. Uh, the town will be fine. I think. Do we it need might, to go? It might be less confusing if you're not here for a week. Do we or need to go? To, do you need a hand arresting people, or are you going no, to be alright with? That should be fine. Most of the people we need to arrest are, quite frankly, a bunch of old men. Um, we should be fine if we keep it low key. Uh, but, well, I'm trusted here in my position. So, my boys. To be fair, you guys are outsiders and you've been. I know, I know you've been doing good and so do some other people, but. We've also been making a lot of noise. Mm, a lot of dead bodies have turned up near you. Yeah. Suddenly, all the town elders are. Well, as well. Uh, it would be fine. It would just, I don't know. Once uh, that, as long as there's a, once there's a little bit of an explanation out there. As yes, well. if you could, yeah, it, it might just be best if you leave town for a few, a few days, ten days. Um, yeah, that sounds that's perfectly reasonable. We've uh, been meaning to go investigate the uh, green lightning over the river. Oh, Lance Rock, yeah. Yeah. So, go have a look at that. 
see the sights per se. Nice. Um, but yeah, I, I know I know a few people in town I can mm. talk to to hopefully make the whole process a little bit easier. That would be good. Um, yeah. yeah. Also been also got word uh, today. I didn't think to disturb you about it. Uh, you guys all had your rituals and the other things. <coughs> yeah, there's a um, caravan down from Mirabar. It's gone missing. Yeah. We uh, we heard about that. Where the, its partner caravan came in not too long ago. We passed it. Oh uh, no, that was just another a caravan. This this one was um had delegates on it from Mirabar. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's a problem. Apparently, they're transporting a, a much of a library as well. Many expensive trade goods. Oh, that might be actually <coughs> worth the investigation. <coughs> um, alright, I'll, uh, I'll put that on the list and I'll let everybody know. Uh, good luck with Grond here. Don't, don't be too rough with the poor idiot. Yes, it's... Maybe give him a job. <laughs> it's very hard to say uh, he's culpable. Yes, he's but... a... He's not really to blame for being... On the other hand, he was present when oh. people were killed, and he did nothing. In fact, he helped hold them down. True. Um, and he sort of looks over and you're seeing a young happily eating along. So. Yeah. There's a certain point where he's party to murders. Well, and that's why you're the constable, I guess. Um, it's your, your job. I can't trust the elders to help advise, so... No. Um... You're from, um, where are you from? Uh, lots of places. <laughs> um, I'm from the coast, mostly. Ah, so that's nice. What do the Lord's Alliance generally do to a person in that situation? Um, nothing pleasant from what I've seen. Uh, you don't get a lot of chances. Yeah. I'm afraid that might be the case, especially with so many conspirators dead. Also depends on the kind of work you do. If you're valued, you get a little bit more of a oh, cool. likelihood to get a slap on the wrist. High justice versus low justice. Yeah. Mm. Um, yes, well, justice needs to be seen to be done here. If he was, uh, if he was on a ship, it'd be a completely, he'd be long gone. It wouldn't have even been a question at this point. He gives a little nod like, that's probably the way it's headed. Yeah. Um... Anyway, I'll uh, leave you to it. Uh, and looking over, you see that he's getting fed some really nice food too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give him a nod. Just walk out of there. <laughs> um, Grand meat's on the menu tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Butcher's uh, work is never done. Oh, I'll say the principal for a little We'll uh, catch up for a drink at some point soon. Once all this is blown over. It's the Winchester, wait for the soul to blow over. Blow over, yeah. <laughs> I can hold him at him to the side. <laughs> so you guys, you head back to the inn? Uh, I was thinking I'll go ahead to Lauren's and the, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm more comfortable waking Lauren's up than the dude at the tavern. Yeah. Because I got information from him, I figured I might as well give it back. Yep, yeah, um... Lauren isn't in the bakery, surprisingly enough, but there is like a, a sort of attached house out the back. Well, a detached house out the back. Alright, yeah, I'll go. I'll go. Tap the end. There's only a couple hours for us to wake up for work, it's fine. He's a baker. Yeah, yeah they, wake like... up, they wake up at like five in the morning. I'll, um. If they sleep in. I'll break in. <laughs> sure. I'll just like slip in through a window or something and then I'll just like tap the tap in his bedroom door. <laughs> <You're> like, Lauren, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> He looks up and forth. you see him, he's wearing a robe and he's got like... Oh my god. We need to talk. Yes? One of the town elders is dead. Okay. There's... <laughs> there's a series of cabins underneath the underneath the town. Roll the roll. He closes his bedroom door. He's like, I need to get prepared. Yep. And it's got a list of town elders' names and crosses one out. <laughs> Did you think for a ritualistic sacrifice down there? And the constable is probably about to make a whole load of arrests involving the uh, town elders. Well, we've been asked to leave for a week because we've, uh, well, naturally a bunch of bodies have occurred, popped up around us. Yes. And just to make the whole transition a little bit easier, we're not around. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, um, 
that's good news. Ish. Yeah, it's uh, it's not bad news. It could be better, but well, I thought it'd the be rest best. Be spun. I, I thought it'd be best that you find out before you wake up in the morning and be like, oh, look, this whole fucking mess is unloaded on my doorstep. Um, <laughs> appreciate it. Well, uh, Jalisa, the constable's wife. I think if enough people agree, she would make a good order for the town. Spin that. Especially if she knew... Well, she was a constable's wife, she would know who helped. Yeah. Um, she's well respected and it's fair. She's Yeah, she's fair, so... I, uh, I told the constable I knew some people in town that would possibly help try and spin it in our favour. And he was uh, favourable to it, so... Okay. Um, nobody knows who we're working for yet, but that's a, that's a later point to be dealt with. Well, there's an entire mind known uh, to keeping the trade route safe. So, Speaking of which, apparently the, the caravan, mm. we've uh, had delegates in the library on it and some such. Yeah. I think that's one of the things we should go look at next. I agree. Fair things about it, but... Yes, um, it'd be very easy to say that you came in here sorting out the troubles in town, just and stumbled across. Yeah, getting trade to flow again. Well, At the end of the day, money, mine. As long as the town's running better and people aren't getting murdered. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, um. By us. Oh right. Uh yeah. Um. I can't. I can't remember the uh, the. the Bailey? Was it Bailey? 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 Uh, we found uh, a young child, well, young son. boy, Bailey, in the, uh, the dungeons. Apparently he's one of the eldest sons. Ah. Um, he was under a pile of rocks and was told to stay there as penance for not delivering a letter. So, he, we've currently got him in the inn. We are not sure, really, what to do with him, because... Hmm. He's considers himself a, a believer of this cult. Yeah, I don't think he has any family around. He'll probably end up working for. Um, what's his name? Uh, he'll probably end up working for the Valley Boy. So, oh, at least he's a good guy. Oh. Um. Well. <sighs> yeah, uh, I'll I'll see you. Tomorrow, maybe, when this whole shit show unfolds, and we leave. Hmm. And I'll, uh, I'll shut his door and walk out, slip out yeah. the same window. Yeah. <laughs> he releases the, the knife from under the hand on the knife's hilt under the pillow. <laughs> Completely fair. Yeah. <laughs> we would if he did. Okay. Um, yeah. So, what do you think this hand's holding? <laughs> <laughs> His other hand. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are, so you guys are just sleeping the rest nope. of the night. I go my own room. Uh, what if there's a child? If what if I come back? There, there's no one to hire a room from. Yeah. Isn't there? It's, it's still two in there. It's two a.m. Isn't there someone at the inn? <laughs> there are people around, but it's not like they are taking service. <laughs> They're watching me. Sure I go far when I think there's an empty room and I try going. Oh, we're all gonna get woken up. It is, yeah, you, you go in and you cannot see anyone. It's a very yeah. comfortable room. It's gonna get Looks like a queen size bed. Only be. I mean, one bed. I light the torch and look around. Yeah. Alright, I close the door and so I raven up. There's a score of someone coming in. <laughs> and I'm asleep. And I put a chair in front of the door. Yeah, you do so. To the innkeeper's room. <laughs> if, I, if I come back and I find Emrys just sitting there going, sleep. <laughs> Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, you come in finally like doing magic tricks with this very ornately carved dagger, making it disappear and reappear. Uh, oh, hello. Um, True being just asleep with the boy on the bed. Oh, that's adorable. Uh, I talked to the cops. You're the security boys. blanket. Yeah. <laughs> there's, the, there's the boy who like arms and legs out for They're both very loud for sleeping people. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, uh, I went and talked to the constable and Lawrence. Hmm. How'd uh, you go? Quite well. Grund is probably being executed tomorrow morning. Is that really necessary? 
Um, I feel sorry for the poor son. We, we had a brief conversation, and <coughs> yeah, it's, he, it's one of those things that he can't be held culpable, really, but if he's that easy to convince to hold somebody down to murder them, then he can't really be... You know who could use someone like that? Zantarin. Send him back to one of the strongholds. No, too Some easily. Neighbor. Too easily persuaded. All By who? There's no one on the inside. All it takes is, say, a harper to come along and go, Hey, do you have any information about what's going on around here? Do you think a harper would get into the stronghold? I mean, it's likely. I hope it's highly unlikely. They're pretty much everywhere. Well, yes, but not within our walls, I would hope. Uh, All I'm saying is there might be use beyond meat. Worth asking the question. Mm, I don't know. I can't trust anyone that is too easily persuaded like that. And put and besides, the Zentrum operates under the basis of kill your kill your superior. Mm. Well, it is what it is. But if there's a way around it, I'd like to find it. Uh, I let Lawrence know. Uh, to, so he's got a few ideas to spin it in our favour and hopefully ah, excellent. make everything a bit better um, and tomorrow morning we've got a few ideas about what to go look at next so mm. oh, the, the constable suggested we uh, vacate town for a week probably not the worst idea the only other concern I have is what if the constable's involved are we still 100% sure we can rule it out <sighs> Lauren seemed pretty confident um, and judging by his reaction to the, uh, well, A, the dead elder and the boy's situation, I'd say we can trust him. Seems like he wants to actually do the right thing. Very right, well, final loose the boy. What are we doing there? Uh, apparently he's going to stay with the, um, the mad old bastard down the road, the Valivor. So he's being offered one way or the other then? Yes. Uh, he doesn't have a mother, and his father is most likely being arrested. Mm -hmm. And at least Valivor seems like a good guy. A harper, though. I mean, he's going to treat him well, at least. And if anything, at least th th there's a mad cultist being introduced into the harpers. That could work in our favour, I suppose. Exactly. Uh... But yeah, uh, I mean, I'm going to try and get some sleep now. Why, why are you awake? Um, I don't feel tired. I haven't for some time now. It's rather strange. It's disconcerting is what it is. Mm. Well, let me know if you start having hallucinations. I think everybody I'm walks up sure with... I already am. I mean, the things we've seen the last two days. <laughs> everybody wakes up with drawn on moustaches. <laughs> <and laughs> uh, I'm going to fall asleep with my back to the door. <laughs> and, um, and like... Daggers in my hands, like facing the window. <laughs> I start doing dagger tricks again. Disappearing, reappearing. Um, morning comes. Mm -hmm. You all have a long rest. Um, yeah. I haven't felt this good. Good morning, just... everyone. Come on, let's have been doing that all night. No. Uh, <laughs> Roll a sleight of hand check. <laughs> I should be proficient in this, did I take it? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, 11. What's next? 11. <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you managed to not like cut your hand up at some point. <laughs> Emerus, the barely magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it right. No, it was dark, so the knife kept disappearing, but he had to go look for it. I was yeah. like, Look at this dagger closely. Now close your eyes. <laughs> Open them again. It's back. <laughs> it disappeared while you weren't looking. Everybody turn around. <laughs> I can go invisible, but only when no one is watching. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm not that rude. Uh, so what are you guys doing this morning? Um, I will ask True Dream what she wants to do with this child. He is still conscious. Well, asleep. I'm going to take him back to the constable. The constable will know the right place to take him. Uh, From what I understand, he's going to work with Valivor. He will be orphaned, but probably looked after, but by a harper. At least he'll have other children, <laughs> at least. And at the very least, the constable can try to help deprogram him. I think just long-term exposure to other children and a friendly environment is the only way to do that. You do realise we're talking about harpers, though, right? Yes, I mean, we can't really judge. We're 
Perhaps we could spin it that Lauren takes him on as an apprentice and raises him the right way. I don't know if Lauren's really uh, welcome that. He uh, seems very set in where he is currently in his uh, surroundings. His job is to do what's best for the Zentarum. And making true. another harper is not what is best for Zentarum. Mm. True. Well, he could be a good asset to the centaur, and I'm not sure we could exactly send him back to base easily. Can you roll a history check? Uh, no. Okay. What did you actually get? Uh, three. Oh, system. Oh, no, I don't know. Wait, are you <laughs> trying? In the room. Here you are. No, I'm not. You didn't come back down when we all no. started waking up? No. Yeah, he's in another room. Uh, it's an eight. I've got a plus five in proficiency. Oh. But it's a three on the dice. I'm not proficient, so. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go have breakfast. Give we can always ask Lauren, see what he thinks. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it can't hurt. <coughs> I mean, he's already programmed, I guess it's, it's probably super, super easy to reprogram, honestly. It would be easier to change programming than deprogram. Yeah. Um, my brother's gone missing. He might be in trouble already. Oh, he's around, probably. I'm downstairs eating breakfast. Yeah, uh, assuming there. no one came in now, I'll just say. I just assume you're of course in trouble somewhere. I didn't see him on my way in, so... Accidentally, probably. Says you. Bring up... I uh, orchestrate trouble. Bring some food upstairs for the boy. I'll feed him up here, make sure he's fine. And then we can take him back. Down. Well, we have the meat here. Perhaps we could just cook that. Mm. Well, we might as well just take him downstairs. We'll get some to eat. We'll eat together. Yeah, so the proprietress walks over. I want him to sleep his fill. And uh, just, uh, I hope everyone's breakfast is going great. Uh, the bill for last night. Yes. Um, I'm still fixed. Twenty gold pieces for one of the nobles' rooms. <coughs> <laughs> so just uh, send over to the constable. Why? Strange. He's the constable. Make a deception check. Would you like to assist me, bro? <laughs> he, no. didn't say, he didn't say anything. How are you? If you're assisting, how are you assisting? Oh, yes, we've been working with the Constable all week. He said he owes us a great deal, but didn't have the gold to pay. Perhaps this is a way he could negotiate something. Isn't the room we got the one that he's negotiated with us? <laughs> <laughs> Just to throw a fucking <laughs> salary we actually paid for that one. <laughs> That's your only natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> she super believes you. Uh... Certainly, um, as soon as you provide the, uh, the writ, proving this. Oh, do you have a... Oh, we'll go get it, that's fine. We have to see him soon anyway. Certainly. However, you do need to put a deposit on it. Oh, it's being paid for. Oh, you have horses possible. and carts in the state. <laughs> Touché. I, however, am still upstairs. Yes. We, however, have paid for our room. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, waves her hand and, um... Arun comes over, one-eyed devil master, and sort of glaring at you all. Yes, can we help you? And um, she goes, um, just so you know, these uh, good gentlemen won't be taking their horses or carts until their bill is fully settled. Just check with me. Uh, and Morris gets his D8 ready. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, like, hmm. uh, you put the horses to you sleep. Two, you, so you were there? Yep. You both were all inside? No, no, yeah, him, not you. Ah. What? Inside. Oh! Nope. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> you know, we're, really, we're still really tired, like it was a long day yesterday. I'm, no, I'm, I'm slept. not a very. I don't know people well. <laughs> I mean, I got <laughs> 10. But no. <laughs> no charisma, no insight. He's giving you a stink eye, but you don't know why. But I mean, beyond the fact that you're like, he's like, mm, <laughs> he's just a bitter man. Well, he, he's lost a bit of himself. <laughs> To be a human. He's a bitter old Hobson. <laughs> Name's Hoggle. So he walks in. Hoggle! Hoggle! I finish my breakfast and I head out to see the constable. Uh, are we left alone after that? Yeah. Perhaps we could just, or well, you could, just take the gold. Or perhaps maybe you could. I mean, give them the gold back, be done with it, and on our way. Oh, I don't mind paying for it. My question is, why the fuck do I have to pay 20 gold for a uh, noble's room? Why would you give them the gold? There was a free mm. bed. Why would you give them the gold? Oh, we'll take the gold first, give it back to them. They're happy, we're happy, we're off scot-free. We don't have to worry the sheriff with any of this. So 
Sorry, Constable. <laughs> you know, you're a man, and then you'll be a mayor. Out of Mobile Chair. Well, we, we don't need a painter. Well, those. No. I, I just thought, like. Um, we do them so it'll lots start of like falling out, and I go out there and like fine. drop it on the uh, drop on the table and like. Uh, there's twenty gold. If my friend does this again, um, just make him work for it. He wasn't meant to be in that room. Um, she looks over at him. I'm afraid we like uh, cleaning quality stuff around here, and just walks off. <laughs> Burn. And you, the, the, the stuff in here are all immaculate. So, yeah, it's not a completely <laughs> idly, you know, comment. <laughs> <laughs> when she gestures at the guy, I was like, what, eight charisma? Nine charisma? Yeah, I got nine charisma. <laughs> hey, I only got nine charisma. <laughs> Hopefully, someone has actually brought breakfast up for me and the boy upstairs like I asked them to. Ah, uh, left. <laughs> I was going to, yeah. Thank so you. when I go order, when we order breakfast, I'll yeah. You just you're paying general living expenses and yeah. get food, yeah. And I'll get I'll get one sent upstairs, and not and left at the door, not mm-hmm. brought in. Yep. Open, take, shut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got to the counter. I'm sorry, man. I forgot to ask before. What is your policy on refunds here? I don't understand the question. Oh, well, we came to a reputable establishment to find there were rats in our room. Uh, I don't <laughs> believe you would find any rats here. Oh, well, you can go and have a look for yourself if you like. A giant, ghastly beast. Yeah, this is going to be fun because I don't even know how this... I just assumed Perception that... Deception check. <laughs> I don't realise we have, like, three bars. There's the betrayers. Okay. Uh, 21. There's a the betrayer. She like gives you I mean, like a real roll. Like reaches a down to the bar and pulls up like a, just a large section of oak. <laughs> and it's like a couple of nails. Right. <laughs> ah, so you're prepared. So you've had these problems before then. Not for a long time. Mm, well, it seems they're happening again. Well, we've only been taking guests of cleanliness and quality. Madam, please. Well, I'm certain. <laughs> She looks... Yeah, she's insulting her guests. I'm very clean. I don't know why you're assuming I'm dirty. <laughs> We're both very clean. One of your hands is grey. Yeah, but that's like... You you're trying to make old people look sexy. You reek of death. You've been collecting corpses. You can't I don't reek of death. I, I just have a bad looking hat. You don't have a bag of holding. You just have skeletons in your bag. Oh, I have Skeletons sack. don't smell. Yeah, they don't smell. They're very clean. You, you have a body. bulging sack. A kind of lumpy <laughs> full of bones. Full of bones. Like, like fucking rattles bones. with every movement. <laughs> it's just so, a sack. The, so she looks over the group and says, <clears throat> yeah, I assume he's not there. I, I, I so make so sense. Well. I make sense. I don't know. I have you. I'm like. But she says, says <laughs> We have a clean house. If someone has brought in um, scraps of food or filth. That's not. Where is this rat? Well, it was up in the room last night. Shame away. Well, you know where the room is, don't you? <laughs> you did rent it to us. <sighs> what what room number did you have again? 13. I said the actual number, I don't know. Nobody wrote that down. <laughs> it was 17, I remember. It was 17. I can't it was floor I, one, number seven. I have no idea. I have no idea of NBC names. Room number. There I go. <laughs> Room number 17. The same she one stalks this piece. up. <laughs> I am in there with the boy. Anyway. <laughs> it's not yeah, my problem. This is going to be freaking hilarious. So, so how, what are you doing to prep? <laughs> I, I, I saw a card being passed around. I oh, yeah, it was just a case of what happens if they have a rat problem <laughs> doing a <your> refund. <laughs> um, well, if she's going up to the room with a giant bat, it's the last place the rat wants to be. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I will probably leave the establishment and make my way around to the back door to go screaming through the establishment and Certainly. <laughs> make a scene. <laughs> <laughs> and then take one down and shot. <laughs> <laughs> like always Seventy points, like a horse person. Um, and then yeah, coming through the back door, I'm well, imagining it like straight right. into a kitchen I area, where there'd probably yeah. be kitchen hands working away. 
being a giant <laughs> brick, yeah. <laughs> Being a giant, well, the idea is to make them throw shit at me as I go in through the general public. Roll initiative. This becomes rough too easy. Get under someone's head. Eighteen. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, oh yes, yeah, so twenty. Oh, okay. I rolled seventeen on her initiative. To see if she got to the room before you made noise. Yeah. So she's up there, hand reaching towards the door. <laughs> Suddenly, you hear like one of the mates. Eat rat. <laughs> And um, then she just turns around and like, throws the knife she's got at you. Like the. the yeah. Uh, what's your AC as a rat? Uh, yeah, good question. Oh no. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> this is fine. Oh. What could go wrong? I can't believe I just paid 20 gold to get busted and thrown out of the inn. Ah, uh, 15, that's decent. We're going to kill them in the Don't worry, it's not like it's going to be a chaotic day for your It's better than what it would normally be, so yeah, 15. <laughs> So the rat is, oh sorry, the, the knife is, and you just duck to the side with rat like reflexes. And at this point, like a couple of the other cooks are turning around. One of them has like a pot of uh, oh, stew, and just mm-hmm. <laughs> another one has a cleaver and run, starts running after you. I think you have the speed on him. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm a like, two foot rat, <laughs> <laughs> freaking huge. And once it's sort of just, they're trying to get you out of the kitchen more than anything else. Oh yeah, I'm going straight for the front room, the yep. front bar. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> like, if you're going to make a scene, do it properly. Yeah, that's just the room. This is where my bonds backfire for everyone. Everyone's, like, eating it like... <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's, that's disgusting. <laughs> Giant, dirty rat. Did everyone see that? <laughs> you, man, did you see that? <laughs> I did. Oh, I... What sort of establishment is this, honestly? We saw one in our room last night, too. Did they hire adventurers to do with rats in the oh. basement like a normal establishment? I know. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm taking some I am outraged. <laughs> 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 it's the only rat to run down a bar and like slap off a cup. <laughs> she just jumps the table. The table. <laughs> she runs downstairs, she's got this club, and she's like. <laughs> I pull out a knife briefly and I'm like. <laughs> Is that our rat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm like, I know it's our rat. I'm like. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back away. <laughs> so she starts chasing after you. I'm going out the front door. <laughs> um. You'll get one thing you just make yeah. money. If, oh, he comes it's by me, if he comes by me, I'll kick the table over and like panic, but like to trip people up. And I'll jump back out of the way. <laughs> oh, are you kidding? If she's swinging, I'm going to go back to him and <laughs> <laughs> just sit on his lap. Um, yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, she misses. Yeah. <laughs> like she, yeah, she goes. It's you know, she picks so. the, the club <laughs> into the floor. And yeah. At <laughs> that point, what, you're at the front door? Yeah, out the front door. Oh, oh disgusting. <laughs> Is that another one in the kitchens? He says, "Baking." <laughs> the only rat to look back and make sure she's not following him out the door. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's going to be the hunt of the rats <laughs> from the town. Oh, well, it's been chased out now. Oh, good. It should have been done a long time ago if it's been living in here. All right, go back mm. around to the kitchen again. No, I <laughs> round two. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I've uh, dodged two. That's uh, more so than my luck's pushed. Yes, well. So. Perhaps the children you bring in and hide in the rooms might have brought them in with them. With them. Oh, children you mean the elders? Do you mean the child we saved from almost certain death? Madam, who do you think you are? I am the proprietor of this place. And you're questioning us for saving the life of a child. Everyone, do you hear this? I gesture to the room at large. <laughs> Everyone's like confused <laughs> as to now taking the eldest son, which you guys have said is somehow saving the world. We didn't say eldest son, did we? Someone I did. did. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> I'm glad I'm not involved in this. We saved place. his life from mad cultists. He was buried under stones and couldn't move. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Let's see if you can convince the room. Oh, uh, nine. <laughs> Unless someone can help me. I mean, I was kind of helping, but I have a minus one. Are you pro- well, then you're probably not proficient. No. Yeah, I'm not proficient. I mean, I'm happy to come bur- bur- bursting in the front door and be like, oh! <laughs> Daddy, rat Has anybody rat seen the... <laughs> see the eldest son? <laughs> Just looks over at you and like, like, still like, <laughs> clean up his like. This is the kind of filth I'm talking about. You bring in 
But, um, <laughs> this we, the, we had, I paid for the room. We've dealt with the trouble. Yes, <laughs> we need a bit of a bath, but that's because of the kind of work we do. Now, are you going to continue ber- to berate us because... Yes. <laughs> because your fine establishment needs its sheets cleaned now? Christ, just wash them, you infant. I will not be spoken to in that manner. <laughs> Neither will I. So out, please. all of you, out. We shall collect our horses and leave. Right. <laughs> I pull out my phone and open the old. Let me try to the man. Use a cavern. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'd like to speak to your manager. I am the manager <laughs> and the owner. Um, I believe it's a manager and it would run <laughs> real quick. Just out, all of you, out. Well, do you have a bar service, perhaps? Out. <laughs> um, I believe I've got a room for another day. Am I getting refunded? <laughs> yes, exactly. So, do you want my money or do you just want my feel? She goes over behind the counter and. Takes like a hand, like handful of coins and just throws them at you. I'll pick them up. I'll put a chain. I'll just pick up the. It's coins. like ten gold pieces, which is more than it's your age. <laughs> and I'll, I'll just be like, "Thank you, you troglodyte." <laughs> no. Wait, cabbage. You pediculous foozle. <laughs> I will watch. <laughs> Say that again. I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> what has this become? <laughs> it's not basically a life's written fool. <laughs> you heard me, and then I'm just like, <laughs> turn the jacket and walk out. Did you guys leave? Did you leave? No, I got to the room. <laughs> We're only thrown out and everybody walks God. back in. True dream. <laughs> what? We might not exactly be welcome here anymore. We might want to leave. To be fair, we have to leave for a week anyway. So. <laughs> what did you do? Me, nothing. <laughs> what did you do? I did absolutely nothing except for call them out on the downfalls of their establishment. You see a rather <laughs> angry, sort of middle aged woman, <laughs> sharp eyes, with a club like that, just standing behind him like. Oh yes, this is the woman who wanted us to leave this child to die. Ma'am, I'm so sorry for what they've done. If you can please explain what exactly they've done. To yes, the please explain, ma'am. Without them being present, I'm sure hopefully... It's beyond that. I have other people I can rent this room to. Out. Fair enough. I'm <laughs> gently going to get... Leave the boy. Uh, I was taking no. him back to the constable. Yes. I... He's well, very clearly emaciated. And I will send helping. someone to get the constable. I have no idea who any of you are. You rushed into town a few days ago. Knock the fuck out. You've been rude. <laughs> you were found in my stables. There have been deaths. Now you've got the child of one of our elders. Ah, we have found a follower. Also, we paid for that night in the stable. <laughs> Just saying. Do you know what? When you came in, my stable master was watching. He said you're covered in blood. We're still he said the boy was crying <laughs> out for his father. I can promise you, man, that I've never been covered in blood a day in my life. That's not true. <laughs> oh, that's because I pressed it to death straight off. <laughs> You're blood. still covered in it. I have, like, blood patches on my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take out some of the meat rations for the boy and, like, prep them nicely and give him a good pat and be like, it's okay. Constable is going to take care of you. Things are going to be all right now. Hopefully this lady doesn't kill you in the meantime. That's going to be real funny when she's the like... The boy's oh, coming what? with us, man. <laughs> no, he's not. Are we really doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Are we are really doing this? Shit, if you ever falls asleep, it's going to be dangerous. She falls asleep. Um, <laughs> so it's so 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 probably <laughs> one of you guys. So does the boy. Out. Oh, the boy's asleep anyway. <laughs> yes, Here it comes. <laughs> just wake yourself. Just be like twenty-two. Right. Yeah, I assume you wake whoever else falls out asleep. Oh. Yes. But she's a creature that is a commoner, so like. All right, she goes out. I'm just gonna carefully take the boy back up. I'm gonna take him over to the constable. And then we're going to leave. I think you're all out. I can't ruin <laughs> Killies. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the bat though. White crumbs. Yeah, okay. I'm just, the only just, one just with plus one charisma. 
And I was up here the whole time. No, I've got high charisma. Yeah. I was a paying customer. She didn't even offer me a bath. <laughs> you can't call me dirty. This is all on her at this uh, point. There are bath services here. Hey, she, I used them True Green used them. You just never did. Hey, I'm comfortable with the way I am. She's not. She should have been like, sir, we have bath services. Not be like, you peasant. <laughs> <laughs> While she's peasant staffing. <laughs> she was fine until you guys started being all. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. She had rats. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she did. All right, yeah, let's go find a heart. crab so I can eat that heart because that's so funny a joke. <laughs> all right, what's up? Guys... Why am I in this party? <laughs> Who knows? Uh, you guys all scurry out sideways. I walk out and dig them. <laughs> sideways. <laughs> um, <laughs> my uh, you guys head towards the constable yes. where you see um, they are starting to erect scaffolding out the front. I'm taking. I'm holding the boy's hand to walk him along. And we will probably leave it there for today. Cool. Take that for brighter. <laughs> <laughs> we pay so, for everything. <laughs> so are we... Too uh, much, that's a problem. So are we tuning in tomorrow to see another House of Mercy? Well, let's hope so. And what's the be. scenario? We'll see everyone on Thursday for Star Wars. The, the, no, you'll uh, definitely be here tomorrow. Or definitely. both. Ideally both. Definitely both. Yeah, and then next has week no life. Life. And we'll watch everything we put up. Better. <laughs> Better be like us. <laughs> see you, bro. Bye. Right, thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.